Kenny, you ready for game time? Join me, Sal from Behind New York Basketball, as I announce play-by-play. -play. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe, because now we're about to go live. Entering the pregame, we now present Sal from Behind New York Basketball. And what's good, everyone? We got UT versus UT for this matchup tonight. Texas, the number seven seed, the record of 21 and 12, taking on Tennessee, number two seed, the record of 25 and 8. Welcome back in, everybody, to the stream. If you guys are new in the channel, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell as well as we are off and running and uh, getting away with the stream right now. Uh, coming down here for you guys and, uh, with a matchup in store, Rick Barnes, head coach of Tennessee, taking on his former program, Texas, in this matchup today. Texas got out to a great start this season. They started off 11-2. and They were in the bubble throughout most of this season, though. They're just 10-10 and in their previous 20 games ever since. Only 3-9 and against NCAA tournament teams as well for Texas for this year. And uh, Tennessee has a bunch of experience. Both of these teams, super experienced on the roster. Uh, Max A. Smith for Texas used to play at Oral Roberts, which upsets the two-seed Ohio State back three years ago in the bracket in 2021. Texas made an Elite Eight appearance last year, deepest in program history. Tennessee's got eight seniors on their team, led by an All-American by the name of Dalton Connect. Put it up 21 points per game, top 12 in the nation in scoring, and they've gotten better. Previous Three seasons in the bracket, advancing around each time. First round appearance in 2021, second round appearance in 2022. Last year, they beat they beat Duke on their way to the Sweet 16 last year and looking to make a deeper run this year for Tennessee. And they have a bunch of experience back on the roster once again. This should be a fun one tonight. George in the stream, Ryan, Bryce, Lucas, welcome on board for the matchup between the orange teams tonight. We'll be tipping off shortly. Uh, Tip-off's actually been pushed back a little bit now to 8.25 p.m. So we got 15 minutes before tip-off since that last game dragged along quite late. North Carolina and Michigan State. North Carolina pick, picked up the win in my last stream. Final score is 85-69. to 69. So there's been basically three blowouts. we got two closer games right now um, still playing their way through. North Carolina 85 to 69 over Michigan State. Arizona won earlier today 78 to 68 and then Gonzaga crushed Kansas 89 
to 68 this afternoon. The game is going on currently. Iowa State's running away here with this one right now. 62 to 51. Iowa State is plus 11 in the second half on a score scoreboard against Washington State. It's now 35 to 24 in the second half, and that game is down to the final two minutes. So Iowa State going to be advancing over to the Sweet 16 for the Cyclones. Big second half propelling their team. And then NC State up at the halftime by just three. Oakland's hanging in. Jack Goalie with not, uh, goal key with nine points so far. It's 32-29 to 29, NC State with the lead. Tristan, what's good? Welcome back in the stream, man. Glad to have you back in. Hope all is going well. So we are 25 subscribers away from 25K on the channel for subscribers. I actually remember Tristan was part of the first March Madness group back in 2019 from five years ago. So glad to have you back in, man, uh, once again. And uh, when Ryan joined, that was the first Celtic stream I ever did back in 2019 in um, April 2019, like five years ago almost. So uh, but, uh, quite the time. I think I had like 100 subscribers by then back back that time when the Celtics beat the Pacers in the final week of the regular season. Purdue taking on Utah State tomorrow. Winner of that game is going to face Gonzaga in the Sweet 16. This matchup right here, Texas and Tennessee. That's at the bottom right part of the bracket over in the Midwest region. A winner of this game will face the winner of Oregon versus Creighton, which is the nightcap later tonight. And then... There's also another game that will be taking place too. Illinois taking on Duquesne a little bit later tonight. The winner of that game will face Iowa State in uh, the next round in the Sweet 16. And that will be a fire matchup right there between Illinois and Iowa State. That's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, Bryson Lucas has been watching since I believe like 2020, um, 2021. Like the Baylor-Gonzaga year. Best of luck to uh, Tristan's Texas Longhorns for this one. Yeah, Tennessee's got a super solid team for them. Um, Texas has been, like, inconsistent for them this year. They've, they've struggled against, like, higher caliber teams. They're just 3-9 and nine against, like, the top uh, NCAA tournament teams in the bracket for them. The, the Big 12 was kind of like a down year. Not a whole lot of people talked about the Big 12 having a down year, but... The top, it was basically there. There were some some clear tiers out of the Big Twelve. Like the top clear cut is Houston and Iowa State, and then there was a major division between the number one and number two, between the top two and then number three. Baylor, after that, being number three, and then another clear cut division between Baylor and the rest of the pack. It was all jumbled up between the mid pack teams trying to get to the bracket for the Big Twelve. So you got teams like. Kansas, Texas, Texas Tech, BYU, TCU, all those teams are like bunched up together, like the back half of the top 25, and that's where the, these teams are faltered in the bracket. All these back half top 25 teams that are big 12 teams at some point this season have really faltered recently, but it's basically been Houston and Iowa State separating itself from the rest of the pack this year in the conference. And then over in the SEC, Tennessee, the same thing has separated themselves from the rest of the pack over in their conference too this year. They were the top team this year in the conference. They went 14 and 4, 25 and 8, 25 and 8 this season. And they really needed to hit the reset fast because they lost against Mississippi State in the SEC tournament, which was a shock there. And then they come out, they destroy St. Peter's by just a ton, 83 to 49 in their opening round game. Whereas Texas, they had a lot of jitters offensively, but able to beat Colorado State 56 to 44 in a first round matchup. 56 points ain't gonna beat this Tennessee team today. That's for sure. Texas needs to play their best game all season long because Tennessee is led by an All American of Dalton Connect. And these All American guys, like first team all conference players, are going off in this tournament. R.J. Davis just dropped down 20 for UNC, leading his team to victory. They got another All-American dude that you can make a case for, for Armando Baycott. Davis was a first-team All-American. Baycott's an honorable mention. Dalton connects a first-team All-American. And um, Texas does have solid players, but can they be able to be able to play their best game together as a unit today for Texas and mesh well going up, up against a very, very experienced backcourt Tennessee team. 
These guys have been here forever. Pringle on the street, welcome in. Michael, thanks for joining in, man. Taking Tennessee. Hit us up in the chat, by the way. Who you guys like for this one here? Tennessee or Texas? Going to tip off in around 10 minutes from now for this game. There's just so much backcourt experience in this Tennessee squad. They have Santiago Vescovi, who's still on the team. J Josiah Jordan James, he's been there for ages. He was there playing before the pandemic for Jordan James. He, he had a massive game against Kentucky. This is going back to 2020. In the winter of 2020, he had a massive game um, against Kentucky, which at the time had, it was Tyrese Maxey on the team who played that year for Kentucky, and they pulled off the upsets. And um, they were a top five team that year for Kentucky, and Tennessee pulled off the upset on their home floor. Zakai Ziegler is back once again this year. And then they added in Dalton Connect, the transfer out of Northern Colorado for Connect. And he has taken the offense to new heights this season. Usually they struggle offensively for them, but this year they're top 45 in scoring and always been a solid defensive team. They're top 55 in, point, in few, fewest points allowed this season, but their defensive efficiency is one of the best in the nation for Tennessee this year in defensive efficiency. Plus, that's impressive that they're top 55 in the nation in defense because the SEC has been all offenses this year in that conference. They had to, they had to go up against some high-powered offenses like Alabama and Kentucky for Tennessee. So that number, number 53, that's tilted um, higher up than it usually is. Usually they're like top 25 and fewest points allowed for them, but because they face so many tough offenses this season, that number rose up, whereas Texas... They're 106th in scoring. They're 92nd in defense. The Big 12 is more like defensive-minded teams, more like physical, um, crash-the-glass type of teams for the Big 12, whereas they're not like score as much for the Big 12 for those types of teams right there. But this could come down to a perimeter shooting, which Tennessee's got multiple threats who can make threes from the outside. And um, Texas, the main struggle for their team this year is that they rank number 14 in the Big 12 in perimeter D for them this year. Well into the 200s in perimeter defense. And also they struggle with rebounding um, in the 200s in rebounding, whereas Tennessee this season has been a top 40 team in rebounding. So, yeah, this is going to be a good one coming up here. Battle of the Orange Schools, UT versus UT. Congratulations over to Iowa State. Iowa State just won against Washington State 67-56. to So Iowa State moves on to the next round. So they'll be on in the Sweet 16 for Iowa State. Iowa State will face the winner of Illinois versus Duquesne. And that's coming up shortly too in around 30 minutes from now. Oregon taking on Creighton in the nightcap. And whoever wins this game will face the winner of Oregon versus Creighton. Randy on the stream, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, solid season for Tennessee this year. Looking to make a deep, deep run for their team. Got a bunch of experience for this Tennessee squad. Oakland right now taking on the NC State. NC State leading by 4, 38 to uh, 34, the score. Did I see one of the college women's basketball games was pulled for a referee during halftime? I, um, I did not see that, actually. I think I, I heard about something. I, I don't think it was recently, though. There was a ref that was um, pulled, I think, for a conference tournament game. Last week or the week before, but nothing recently. We get a star-studded backcourt matchup for this one. Dalton Connect, Zakai Ziegler, Santiago Vescovi for Tennessee. And then Texas with Max e. Smith, Tyrese Hunter. Should be a good match of Ithiel Horton in the backcourt. It's basically three guys in this Texas team. That's high quality scoring threats. You got A. Smith, you got Hunter, and then you got DeSue in the front court. Kind of underwhelming that they could only score 56 last night the, or uh, two two days ago against Colorado State. That's concerning there because Colorado State hasn't been a strong defensive team this season. For them, a Mountain West team. So Texas has to play their best game by far in this matchup here. Because this Tennessee squad, they are filled with lockdown defenders, dogs on their roster. 
they're going to make things difficult for Tennessee in this game, especially if ten uh, or uh, Tennessee is going to make things difficult for Texas in this game, especially if Texas tries to come out firing from three. Tennessee is really good at locking up the perimeter. Plus, they get a top 10 in interior D as well. So they got to find cracks in the defense here for Texas, which is not going to be easy going up against this Vols defensive squad. They are just so, so uh, tough defensively this year. Four minutes away from tip-off. If you guys are doing the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified for future live streams as well. This is going to be a fun one tonight. Two orange teams in the floor going up against one another. Head coach Rick Barnes taking on his former program, the Texas Volunteers. Rick Barnes was the coach of Texas from 1998 to 2015. He led at Tennessee last year to a Sweet 16. There was always that narrative about Texas that they had always choked in a tournament. They would always fail to make it to the second re weekend. The last year, Rodney Terry reversed that narrative. Year two now as a head coach. Took over as an interim head coach last year. In place of Chris Beard for Rodney Terry. And he gets his team all the way to the Elite Eight last season. He did a remarkable job last season as a head coach for Texas. Tennessee has just stepped up their game every single year. And uh, that really sent America a message last season when they punched Duke in the mouth in the second round and beat Duke. In that matchup, last year they made it to the Sweet 16. Trying to see if they can make it even further this season for Tennessee. Whoever wins this one will take on the winner of Creighton versus Oregon, which is the late night game later tonight. Tennessee is pulling a six and a half point favorite on the line for this matchup. What's good? What's good? Behind the Eric fan, welcome back in, man. Should be a good one here. Battle the two orange teams coming down to uh, tip off will be in around the next three minutes or so. Right now we're getting some pretty severe rain outside for some reason. If I do lose power, unfortunately, hoping that I don't, is uh, it would be because of the storm. We're in a flood warning right now. It's in effect for the next two hours. It looks like a severe flood watch that's being issued for my area. Uh, biggest upset will be Yale over Auburn and then Oakland over Kentucky. Those were two massive upsets. I probably lean towards Auburn being the bigger one, though, because Auburn had won the SEC championship. Kentucky was kind of like they could lose in the first round or they could make it all the way to the national championship for Kentucky with all the NBA power that, firepower that they had with their offense, but they lost in the first round. So they, they were the most confusing team to pinpoint this season, I feel like, for me. Here we go. The two orange teams. Tennessee a win over St. Peter's easily. 83-49 to in the first round. Texas won by 12 against Colorado State. 56-44 to in a grinded-out offensive type of game to get here into the bracket for a round of 32. Twenty-three in the opening round by Dalton Connect, the All-American transfer from Northern Colorado. Top twelve in the nation this season, averaging twenty-one point two points per game. Max A. Smith with over three thousand points during his collegiate career. A walking bucket that transferred over from Oral Roberts. He was the top scorer in the nation three years ago. 
Max Smith, Tyrese Hunter, Ithiel Horton, Dylan Mitchell, Dylan DeSue, the starting five for Texas, going up against Tennessee starters, Jonas Adu, Dalton Connect, Zakai Ziegler, Santiago Vescovi, and Josiah Jordan James as we are underway. Tennessee, right to left in the floor, controls the opening tip. White jerseys for Tennessee as they go with the lighter orange numbers, orange letters for this matchup. Texas going in the darker orange jerseys. White numbers, white letters. Texas forced the turnover first possession. Texas now with it left to right on the floor for the Longhorns. Third straight year advancing to the second round for Texas. They're 8-12 and 12 all time in round two of the NCAA tournament. At the left wing pro, they're Max A. Smith. The transfer from Oral Roberts. He made a splash in the bracket three years ago. Takes one from the logo. Missed off the mark. No good. A rebound secured for Tennessee by Ziegler. Ziegler up the floor, brings along a double team, pass over to James, dump off down low, Tennessee, missed the first one off the fingertips at Adu, couldn't come up with it the second time, as the rebound gets collected down low by DeSue. Eastmas has it now, forced out to his right, they need much better shot selection, here's a three taken, and it's good from the outside, Dylan DeSue just made a three for Texas to open up with a lead, three zip right now. Tennessee with a possession. Zakai Ziegler top of the key. Sends it over to Connect. Connect towards his right. Passes over to the low block. Outside right corner. Ziegler baseline dribble. His pass goes over to Adu. Inside the key. Lost the handle. Turns it over. Tennessee with a couple ball handling issues early on. Second turnover in the first minute and a half so far. Desue drives inside the paint. Right-handed hook. Missed off the back rim. And Vescovi collects the defensive rebound. Vescovi has it here top of the key. Santiago drives, kicks out to the corner. Baseline dribble, here's a jumper inside. It goes down for two for Tennessee. And that's Josiah Jordan James who makes the shot. It's three to two. Texas with it, top of the key. Ithiel Horton, the transfer from Pittsburgh. Handoff got deflected into the backcourt. Ace Miss able to pick it up. Max A. Smith defended by Ziegler on the outside. Now picked up by Jordan James. Sends it on top to Sue. Bounce pass right wing. Hunter going up. That's a turnover. Tyrese Hunter called in the up and down turnover committed by Texas. NC State's up by two against Oakland right now. 42-40. to This game's just getting started here. One point advantage. For Texas, Tennessee looking to take their first lead of the game. Top of the key. Josiah Jordan James sends it over to Vescovy. Vescovy at the right wing. Perot there. Bounce pass goes to Ziegler. Ziegler. Bounce pass down low. Able to handle it. Adu down low. Could it finish? And off his fingertips as it goes back to Texas with a rebound. Pulled down by A. Smith. A. Smith crosses midcourt. Bobby in the stream. Welcome in. A. Smith right baseline dribble. His pass to the corner. Intercepted by Ziegler. Here goes Tennessee with a possession. Bad pass there by Aismith. Ziegler kicks out to the corner. Outside, Vescovi moves it off to connect. Connect looking for his first bucket today. Drives downhill to the rim. No good. Put over to Cylinder. Missed the mark there by Jordan James. They had two opportunities. Couldn't convert for Tennessee. Texas with a rebound. Dylan Mitchell bounce pass over to Aismith. Aismith's going to slow it down. Slow scoring game here. One for three for Texas. One for six for Tennessee. DeSue at the top of the key. He's made the lone bucket with a three. Hand off to Hunter. Hunter. On the outside finds Horton. Horton drives inside. The paint turns it over. Tennessee up the floor here off the steal. Ziegler. Bounce pass off the roll down. Wide open with a two-handed flush. Thrown down by Joe DeSadu. Four to three here for Tennessee. Nobody able to cover Adu at the rim. Texas with the ball. Four zip points in the paint for the Vols so far. Only made bucket was a three by DeSue. DeSue at the elbow. Got to go down low. DeSue backs his way. Working on Adu. Slides it on top. They move it out to Hunter. Hunter. Kick out quarter. Shot clock's winding down here to four. Inside the lane. And DeSue will draw the reach and follow. Picked up by Tennessee. We're going to take the first time out on the floor ring now. Four to three to score. 15-54 left to go remaining in the first slow, slow scoring game to begin between these two teams. All right, so first time out here. If you guys are new in the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you guys would like to be notified for future live streams here on the channel. 
And uh, this one's been a grind offensively to begin right now. Dylan Dessou made the three. That's how they led three to zero. A two that made by Josiah Jordan James. Jonas Aju just made the last shot on a slam dunk. Assisted by Ziegler on the first assist of the game for Tennessee. Ziegler's got two steals. A steal each by A. Smith and Horton so far. This has been a sloppy game. Both of these teams, you have to find any sort of scoring rhythm right now. Tennessee is two for six. Texas is... One for three so far. Mountain Man, welcome on back. Thanks for joining in, man. Uh, NC State up by five against Oakland. Currently 45-40 to 40 right now. Duquesne and Illinois will tip off in around 20 minutes, approximately. Hey, what's good? James Tyler in the stream. Welcome back in. Things going pretty well, man. Both of these teams in the first four minutes just haven't gotten into any sort of rhythm out there right now. Hey, there we go. Chris uh, able to cash in the Miles Rice over an 11 and a half points. Took the last shot. Buried it. That's awesome. That's great. Oakland hanging in right now, 45-42 on their 12 left to play against NC State right now. One point game here as we come back from the timeout. Texas gets the inbound. First time on the floor for number 30, Brock Cunningham for Texas. Max A. Smith out there with Chandel Weaver as well, number two, first time on the floor for him. As well, Tyrese Hunter sends it over to A. Smith. Drives, gives it off to Hunter at the wing. Shot clock's down to three. Got a launch here. A. Smith off a step back shot. Didn't even touch the rim. That's a shot clock violation committed by the Longhorns. Some poor quality shots here by A. Smith. Just trying to pull up from the logo, thinking that he's Steph Curry out here. And missed the first one to start off the game, and he just airballed the second one. That's not going to be happening too much against this Tennessee defense. You cannot take shots like that. They're at a three-and-a-half-minute scoring drought for Texas. Tennessee with a possession. Jemai Meshack, first time on the floor for him tonight. Zakai Ziegler has a top of the key. Ziegler off the screen set by Toby Awaka. Ziegler sends it off to Meshack. Back to Ziegler. Takes the three straight away. Off the mark, no good. Tipped up, and Cunningham trying to save it out of bounds. Diving, he went, though. It will stay Tennessee basketball. Brock Cunningham, during, during his career, he's had a lot of difficult plays in crunch time for him. A, a lot of plays that's cost his team the game. This could be one of those games tonight that you're looking back. It's very close. Tennessee wins, and uh, Brock Cunningham fumbles the ball or does something stupid winning the final minute. Left to go. Wouldn't be shocked. Vescovy dribbles up to the right wing. 10 on the shot clock. Vescovy guarded 101 by A. Smith. Sends it over to a Connect. Connect. Shot clock's down to 5. Connect. Driving on Weaver. Kick out to the corner. Vescovy. Shot clock down to 1. Going up. And he got stripped and stole away. Great defensive possession right there by Max A. Smith as he came up with a steal. A. Smith bounces fast off the roll down. Weaver, or that's off the Shedrick. Shedrick got contacted and followed. So two free throws will be coming up here for Texas with Caden Shedrick, the transfer from Virginia. That's a big time steal there by A. Smith. Now a chance to respond right now for Texas. Looking to see if they can tie it up. Oakland just tied up the game against NC State. It's 
even at 45 with 11 minutes left. First free throw missed at the line. No good off the mark by Caden Shedrick. Four and two record in the NCAA tournament for Ronnie Terry in his career. Second shot here by Shedrick right down the middle. Four apiece right now. Just eight combined points in the first five and a half minutes of action. Tennessee pushing it up, up the floor, top of the key. Meshack sends it off to his right. Ziegler at the wing, puts it back up on top. Back outside. Oh, lots of three here. This is Ganey. No good around the rim and out. Offensive rebound going up and they'll get followed. Toby Owaka went up for the shot from point blank range. Got stripped and fouled. It's committed by Cunningham of Texas. So this will be two free throws coming up here for Tennessee. Bradley, welcome back in. Thanks for joining in, man. Battle the two orange teams right now. Two shots for Tennessee to break the tie. Toby Owaka, eight points, four rebounds in the opener against St. Peter's in the round of 64. First free throw is good. Second shot here at the line. Nothing but net delivers. Six to four now for Tennessee. Texas with possession. A. Smith crosses the midcourt logo. He is defended by Meshack. A. Smith moves it on top over to Weaver. Weaver crossover dribbles up now at the right low block. Moves it outside to A. Smith. Shot clock down to 10. Right base on dribble. A. Smith tough shot. No good off the rim. A rebound secured by Ganey for Tennessee. The Vols now with possession. Up the floor goes Ziegler. Sends it on top. Connect. Catching fire. Off the back heel. No good. Tipped up. Battle for the rebound. Texas comes down with it. Hunter. Up the floor. Texas with just one point in the last five plus minutes. Crossover. Down the lane with Hunter. Missed off the front rim. Connect collects the defensive rebound. Here goes Connect out of the pack. Kick out to the corner. And it's going to be an offensive foul picked up. Charge to Dalton. Connect. Ken Chandel Weaver takes the charge. It will go back to Texas. Texas hanging in through their defense right now in this game. Connect with a bad foul he just picked up a moment ago. Just ran right over Weaver. Bulldozed him inside the key. This has been a slow offensive game here. Ten combined points to the first six and a half minutes. Connect will check out now for Tennessee. And Connect is yet to score. He's got one turnover off the personal foul. Zero for two so far. Oh, that's an inbound violation. Inbound violation charged to A. Smith for Texas. It goes back to Tennessee. These are those stupid low IQ plays that Texas makes throughout the course of this season. Really struggling with just consistency. Since Big 12 Conference play picked up and Tennessee scores in the wide open inbound. 8-4 to four to score. Just 4 points by Texas. Only 1 point in almost 6 minutes. And Texas had it deflected out of bounds. This Texas team is just jumbled with their offense. They have no clue what is going on here currently. These guys are going to get back in order. This is going to be a tough game for them. They're going to be scoring Virginia type points in this game. Lucky if they hit the 40 mark based on the rate that they're scoring right now. Brock Cunningham sends it off to his right. Dylan Mitchell double teamed inside a key. Dribbles back out of it. Weaver receives the pass off to Mitchell. Off the pro hop goes up. Got it stripped out of bounds. Turn it over. It will go back to Tennessee. A masterpiece defensive game plan here for Rick Barnes. And the Vols going up against his former team. Four points in the first seven plus minutes. Right now for Texas, that is their sixth turnover of the game. Tennessee up 8-4. to four. Tennessee at the right corner with a, the with a ball. J Jordan Ganey has it now, moves it off to Ziegler. Ziegler bounce pass down low, and it was stripped in a turnover committed by Tennessee as Awaka got stripped. Texas's defense hanging in right now in this matchup here. Weaver off to the top of the key to A. Smith. A. Smith thinking that he's Steph Curry out on the floor. Terrible shot selection, taking two shots from the logo so far. Dasu, double team, Dasu inside, Dasu, tough shot, no good. Mitchell comes up with a basketball, shot clock's down to eight. Texas still with a weaver, drives inside the paint, scores the layup. 
That's good for two by Weaver. That's the first bucket made in over six minutes for Texas. Tennessee with a possession. At the right wing perimeter, they move it on top here for Meshack. Meshack sends it outside. Ziegler, Ziegler, right baseline dribble to the rim. No good. Tipped off the glass. Offensive rebound underneath Tennessee. Second chance points. They score. Up and then off the backboard. Off the putback by Toby Iwaka. 10 to 6 now. Finally, we got some points in this game as we're under 12 minutes left to go before halftime. Cunningham sends it on top over to Mitchell. Hands it off to Acemas. Acemas at the logo. Back outside to the Sioux. Into the hands to Acemas once again. 12 in the shot clock. Off to the middle, Cunningham. Cunningham fires the pass down low. It's going to be a foul on the floor here. Charged to, I believe it's going to be a Waka down low as Desu got knocked down away from the basketball. 10-6 to six to score. We'll take the media timeout as we're under 12. Left to go in the first half. That's on Toby Iwako who picked up the last foul. 11.38 left to play. And this has been a grind of a game here. Tennessee 10, Texas 6. Alright, so if you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell as well. Hit us up in the chat who you guys like to win this one here. Texas or Tennessee, make sure to type it in. Type in Hook'em for Texas. Type in Vols. Rocky Top for Tennessee. Defensive game so far. Though Dalton Connect is yet to score. And this is a good sign for Tennessee. They're up by four. They're limiting Texas to six because of their tough defense. Dalton Connect's picked up a foul. He's been on the bench for the last couple minutes. But when he gets going, watch out. Because he can get going and he can turn a four-point lead into a double-digit point lead and a flash for Dalton Connect. So things are looking really well for Tennessee right now. Texas, opportunities to lead this game right now would connect on the bench, and they haven't been able to do that today. Six turnovers by Texas, shooting a dismal two for seven right now. They made their first shot on a Dylan DeSue three. They won on a six-minute scoring drought ever since that, and they finally just scored their last bucket. So they've made a three, they hit a free throw, and then they just scored a, a layup with a weaver. To get themselves winning four. They they gotta find some answers here offensively, or this game's gonna be over real fast. I mean, just the, the these guys with the IQ out, out there, it's it's not good for uh for Texas. They got a couple guys that really crack under pressure, especially Brock Cunningham. Um he's he's had a lot of tough times, especially like late in games. With some bad plays down the stretch. Hats on the street. Welcome in. George taking Tennessee. Randy taking Tennessee. Welcome in here, everybody. Wow, that's awesome for uh, Jay Ramirez. Second tied four in the bracket group looks for. Yep, that Texas team was so good last year. Um, trying to remember who was on that. That, te that Texas team was... Uh, every everybody played for each other last year. That was a that was a good group of players. They were they they had the interim head coach Ronnie Terry at the time it hadn't been elevated to being the head coach until after the season. I'm trying to remember who really sparked that team. Oh, Sir Jabari Rice. He was on that team. Marcus Carr and Sir Jabari Rice. Those were the two leaders last year. Those guys locked up dudes last season. For, uh, for Texas. They're just missing those types of dogs on their team. Tennessee's got those dudes on their roster for this season. They got A. Smith for Texas, but he's trying to trying to be Steph Curry out there. Hasn't fared so well so far. Dasu, that's a tough jumper coming back from the timeout as he lets one rain, and he delivers for the deep two by Dylan Dasu. Five out of the eight so far going through Dasu. He played a game out of his mind. I think that was against Penn State in the second round a year ago. Dylan DeSue played out of his mind that game. Penn State had uh, Jamarco Pickett on the team, tried to will his team back into it, and DeSue had some, uh, he, he had a big game last year to get his team picking up the victory. Yeah, they had Marcus Carr, Serge Jabari Rice, Timmy Allen, Christian Bishop, Arterio Morris. Those, those guys really sparked the roster. That was a deep Texas team last year. They went to the Elite Eight. They they went like nine guys deep in the rotation last season for that Texas squad. And th this year, they've been super inconsistent. 
um, for them. Tennessee just scored a bucket off the inbound. 11 minutes left to go before halftime. Texas started off 11-2. and They're 10-10 and ever since for the Longhorns. Uh, one, one out of their 21 wins this season came against Louisville by one in the non-conference lane. Missed three at the wing by the Sioux. Got deflected out of bounds. It will be... Or uh, this will go back to Texas, though. So this will be Texas basketball coming up. Thanks for the update there, Jeffrey. Yeah, I heard they were without a lot of guys in that game tonight for the Celtics. 56-54 right now. North Carolina State leading by two against Oakland. A grind of a game right now. 12-8. Texas has possession. D'Souza got five out of the eight so far and two made field goals. The other one was made by... Weaver deflected in or accepted by Tennessee out ahead of the pack leads the open layup with a steal and score by Jordan Ganey. Ganey, a mid-major transfer from SC Upstate. A couple key mid-major transfers on this team. No bigger transfer this season in college hoops than Dalton Connect putting up 21 points per game though from Northern Colorado. Bounce pass down low. Huge rejection by Joe Adu with a block. Here goes Tennessee with it. Connects back on the floor. Connect. Dribbles out to the corner, sends it off to the left wing. Here goes Ziegler, drive kick, pass deflected, and there was a reach and foul too. Uh, Ziegler was trying to pass it back out, yeah, discharged to Texas. That's that tough interior defense for Tennessee. Tennessee is top 10 in the nation in two-point defense this season. Yeah, I, I think it's the athletic teams that's uh, winning these games this year. Grand Canyon just overwhelmed St. Mary's last night with their athleticism. Corner three, missed off the mark by Connect. Offensive rebound, pull down for Tennessee, though. Yeah, North Carolina came storming back in that game because they had six blocks today. Massive blocks. The athleticism of some of those dudes on UNC really was able to control that game. That's a nasty layup there for Tennessee. Reverse hand going to the bucket as the Vols are doubling up Texas. So far in this game, Josiah Jordan James goes backdoor, scores the layup. Timeout taken on the floor by Texas. 9.37 left to go in the first half. Yeah, this Texas team has just been super inconsistent this year for them. Last year, they had dogs all over the place. I, I forget about those guys, but they, uh, they had Serge Abari Rice as uh, one of the key players. Marcus Carr was on that team, too. Those, those two guys really just led that team to the Elite Eight last season. And um, Tennessee started to run away right now. This is getting ugly for Texas. Texas is lucky if they score more than Virginia did. On Tuesday. Ice Ice Baby, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, last year, it was the depth that really stood out. The deep teams in March went super far last year. Texas was one of them last season. Other deep teams were Florida Atlantic and San Diego State. Those two teams made it to the Final Four, San Diego State to the National Championship. And then, this year, it's been more of the coaching. We see a lot of the... A lot of the famous coaches, like the top coaches, Mark Few for Gonzaga leading his team. So so this year it's been the coaching preparing teams for the most part. Also the athleticism. This year it's been a big key. Illinois is a super athletic team for them. Um, athletic athleticism and physicality. Grand Canyon's got some athletes on that team. They were stuffing shots left and right against St. Mary's last night. Colorado's super talented. Colorado's got a talented team. This Tennessee team's a force defensively. Alabama. Alabama played one heck of a defensive game yesterday, just overwhelming Charleston, just their size and their length. Iowa State, that's another physical team. Iowa State, Houston, super physical. Houston destroyed Longwood last night. I wasn't even close. I, I had said in my uh, bracket predictions that I thought that that would be the biggest blowout in the bracket. I haven't 
simulated the points, but either that one or Yukon versus Stetson was the biggest blowout. I'm interested to see how Marquette does tomorrow against that Colorado team because Marquette always struggles in the second rounds. Shaka Smart just can't get past round two into the second week, and he's, he's got a big game tomorrow. Tomorrow and an early game against Colorado. That, that's that's a massive, massive one for Marquette there to open up tomorrow's slate. And I'll be back on the call for that one. So next stream will be Marquette versus Colorado tomorrow at 12.10. And we come back to action right now. Texas just 30% shooting, 8 points in the board with... Nine and a half left to go before halftime. Jumper baseline. It's good by Tyrese Hunter. So finally, Hunter scores for Texas. Tennessee with possession. Crossing midcourt here with Ziegler. Ziegler dribbles up. Bounce pass to his team and attacking inside the paint. Off the glass. No good. Missed by Adu. Texas pushing tempo up the floor. Here they go. Hunter with a big collision. That's going to be rolled a foul. Picked up by Vescovy. According to the officials. Yeah, this year it's been experience has been leading teams in March. Gonzaga has a lot of experience. Anton Watson's been there for ages at Gonzaga. He played with Jalen Suggs and Drew Timmy and um, Corey Kispert. He was a starter at the time for Anton Watson. Gonzaga's to the Sweet 16. North Carolina's got two All-Americans on their team. R.J. Davis and, and, and uh, Armando Baycott. Those guys have recorded over 2,000 points throughout their career. Tennessee's loaded with eight seniors on this roster. Creighton has a bunch of seniors inside their starting five, too. They almost brought back the entire roster from last season for Creighton. They lost Nemhardo, passed down low, soared up with a right handed flush by Shedrick. Caden Shedrick, a transfer from Virginia. That's a big dunk right there, punching it home with the right hand. Tennessee with a possession. Outside to the left wing, Jonas Adu hands it off now. They spot up, take a three off the back rim, missed by Ziegler. Defensive rebound hauled in for Texas. Texas looking to go here. A. Smith floats the pass outside. Hunter catching fire, three off the rim, no good. Vescovy collects the defensive rebound. This has been a defensive grind of a game so far. Vescovy, another player that's been there for ages for Tennessee. Same as Jordan James, that jumper missed off the mark for Adu. Texas with the ball. Texas has it at the right wing perimeter with Hunter. Hunter sends it on top off to DeSue. DeSue moves it off to Mitchell at the free throw circle. Dylan Mitchell working his way on connect underneath Mitchell. No good off the glass. Tipped in though. On the second chance opportunity for Texas with Dylan Mitchell. Two point game. Texas starting to get something right now. Tennessee. An open opportunity. Adu, not a three-point shooter. Instead, gave up the three. Handed it off to Ziegler. Ziegler gets back the dribble. Has it at the March Madness logo. Ziegler one-on-one -on -one with 12 in the shot clock. Looking to set it up. He has Connect open at the wing. Good job off the screen there by Mitchell to defend him. Connect. Shot clock down to six. Connect. Drives. Turnaround shot. Connect. No good. It's an air ball out of bounds. And this will be Texas ball. That is tough defense. Texas doing a lot of work studying film, studying Dalton Connect, making this a game right now. 16 of 14. As we have a timeout here with under 8 left to go, we head to the media timeout. So we'll take the timeout on the floor. They are studying Dalton Connect. Like, they did a good job at getting down how he comes around screens and just goes catching fire, knocking down shots. I mean, they're clamping over him. Right now, Connect has yet to score. He's zero, 0 for 3 so far tonight. Still, this is a really good sign for Tennessee because they are up by 2. If if they had playing defense like they were against Mississippi State, they would be, be getting shredded right now um, for them. And, and uh, they, they've keyed in defensively because right before the tournament they were struggling defensively a couple of games their defensive efficiency had dropped for Tennessee but nothing going on for Dalton connect six points by Toby Awaka he's the top scorer for the bench for Tennessee four points each between Jordan James and Adu right now for the Vols as well so even with connect scoreless they still get the lead because of their defense I mean their defense is so tough and uh, Texas with some poor shot selections early on in this game. 
Yeah, I was debating back and forth on this one whether to take Tennessee or Texas. I, I really like the experience of Tennessee. I took Tennessee in this one here, but um, that's what I was concerned about. If Connect gets clamped down, who's going to step up for Tennessee offensively? And it hasn't really been able to happen yet. And Texas has been able to get five different scores so far this game. Desue with five, three by Shedrick, two each between Weaver, Mitchell, and Hunter. So far, Ace Miss is cold too. Ace Miss is zero for three. So the top two scores are cold right now. Connect and Ace Miss combining to shoot 0 for six. Oakland has just taken the lead. 249 left to go. Oakland 63, NC State 61. Chris in the stream, welcome in. Thanks for joining in, man. If you guys are new, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well for future live streams. Illinois with a red hot start leading Duquesne 11 to 6. Tennessee is yet to make a 3, 0 for 7 from the perimeter. 1 for 3 for Texas. Texas Pulled up from the parking lot to start off the game with Ace Miss and he bricked it. But other than that, they've settled in and started to go to the rim and take twos instead. Texas is hanging in right now. This would be a monster win for Texas because they just haven't been able to see him to get any sort of momentum this season. It's kind of been... Up and down, up and down. Ever since the start of Big Ten conference play, they went nine and or a Big Twelve conference play. They start nine and nine. They went in the Big Twelve this year. Tennessee went fourteen and four in the SEC. SEC is just face planted in this bracket. Um, I got says that's a steal here by Tennessee. Incredible hustle. That is Ziegler as he takes it to the rim. A lot of contact. No call. Tennessee goes up for the dunk with Connect and Connect gets fouled. First of all, that should have been a foul. There on Ziegler's layup motion, but Connect is going to shoot two at the free to line. Hey, thanks so much, Chris. Really appreciate it, man. Um, I got I got UConn, UNC, Houston, and Creighton in my Final Four. So I get two Big East teams. I get three one seeds, which I was trying to not do, but. That region out out west, that's like a kind of like an unreliable region. I thought, based on like the brackets being revealed, and uh, UNC so far so well out of that region. Both of the free throws good by Connect, so Connect is now on the board currently. First two points tonight. Texas gets the inbound. A Smith crosses midcourt. A. Smith guarded by Vescovy at the left wing perot. Their pick gets set by Shedrick. Moves it out to the right wing though. Hunter dribbles up. Up fake. Sends it off to A. Smith. Top of the key three. Takes it. And he makes it for Max A. Smith. Walking bucket. Played for Oral Roberts. Three years ago. Led his team to a 2 versus 15 victory for the 15 over Ohio State. Made it to the Sweet 16 at Oral Roberts. Hook shot inside the key is good by Awaka. Toby Owaka is the leading scorer for Tennessee right now off the bench. He has got 8 points out of the 20. Texas down by 3. A. Smith sends it on top over to DeSue. Dribbles towards his left. DeSue hands it off to Hunter. Hunter towards his right around the perimeter. Hunter slides it over to 2. DeSue looking for the tie. Takes the 3. Came up short. Rebound out of the pack controlled by Ziegler. Ziegler has it up the floor for Tennessee. Off to connect. Under 6 minutes left to go before halftime. Not much points here going on. Connect passes over to the wing. Here's a three taken off the mark. No good. Missed by Vescovy. And an over the back call picked up. Charge to Tennessee. And that's going to be on a waka for Tennessee as this will go back to Texas. Oakland leads by two. 64-62 over NC State with a minute 48 left to go. What a story that would be if Oakland's able to pull that one out. Toby Awaka just picked up his third foul. That's that's an issue there. He's at, he has almost half of the points. He's got 8 out of the 20. He just picked up his third. So he's going to be on the bench for a very long time for Awaka. 
Texas has the possession. Desue at the top of the key. Desue dribbles towards his left. Gives it out to the wing. Dribbling up here is Aismas. Aismas lost the handle. Loose ball on the hardwood. Who's got it? We got a scrum here for the basketball. Multiple bodies on the hardwood here. Vescovi ties up Aismas. It will be possession arrow Texas. So next time around, Tennessee will have the possession arrow. But Max Aismas lost it. Got tied up with Vescovi. And the inbound gets deflected out of bounds. So Texas will try again here, far side of the front court with an inbound. Inbound goes to the wing off to Aismas. Aismas at the left wing. His pass gets deflected. Intercepted. Here goes Ziegler up the floor, taking it right to the rim. And he gets fouled. Aismas picks up the foul. Two free throws coming up here by Ziegler. Just bad ball handling right now for Texas. Way too many turnovers. That's now eight turnovers by Texas in this game. Tennessee keeps on pressuring the basketball, and Texas just some really poor passes so far tonight. First turnover is no good. Actually, the stat updated is nine, so that's now nine turnovers by Texas instead of eight. There's one behind. First free throw missed by Ziegler. Second free throw is good. Four point lead now for Tennessee. There was an inbound violation by Texas in, earlier on in this game too. Nine to four. That was almost an inbound miscue there. Had to jump up and get it was Cunningham in his backcourt. Texas really struggling handling the ball. Top of the key here with Cunningham. Cunningham towards his left off the dribble. Cunningham hand off to Weaver. Weaver towards his right around the perimeter. Sends it off to Hunter. Hunter at the top of the key. Hunter, crossover, spin move, dribbles up. Five in the shot clock outside. Desue tries a three, bricked off the back rim. Soaring up, that's a great rebound for Tennessee. Out of the pack, it was Ziegler, who came up with a massive defensive rebound. And then Weaver will pick up a reach and follow pass midcourt here. Monster, monster rebounds. That's Ganey, number two. Ganey. Who came up with a board and then he sent it directly over to Ziegler. That's a transfer right there. They got two really good mid-major transfers in this Tennessee squad. Jordan, uh, Jordan Ganey from SC Upstate. And then Dalton Connect. Biggest transfer of the season from Northern Colorado. As Tennessee drives inside the paint. They missed the shot. Texas collects the rebound with DeSue. 4.30 left to go. And we got a football score right now. 21-17 in this first half. Bounce pass Cunningham. Moves it off to the low block into the hands to DeSue. DeSue, fall away. Tough shot. No good. Missed off the front rim. Way too many tough shots taken by Texas in this game. Transition three. Connect. Missed off the mark. No good. Defensive rebound hauled in by Hunter. Back and forth bricks so far this game. Kick out quarter. Cunningham over to his teammate Horton. He bricked the three. Here goes Tennessee off the long rebound. They could have taken it to the rim. Instead, they'll slow it down. Tennessee with a possession. At the right wing, connect, lobs it down to the low block. Adu working his way down low, turnaround shot, tough one, no good off the mark, offensive rebound outside. Here's a three, catch and fire gain. He came up short, Texas comes up with a rebound. Brick City with under four left to go in this one. 21 to 17, both teams with six personal fouls. Top of the key, Hunter. Towards his left off the dribble. Hunter accelerates the cup. Kick out to the elbow outside. Desue moves it out. Left corner open. Three Horton. Missed the three. No good. Stripped to the basketball. Oh, what a hustle play right there for Tennessee as they come up off the strip and collect it with a steal. Tent turnover by Texas. Pull up Jay from the parking lot. Around the rim and out. Missed by Tennessee. Off the mark. It was missed by Ziegler. Texas will slow it down. Can somebody make a shot right now? Three minutes left to go before halftime. Cunningham, jab step. Cunningham inside. Cunningham moves it over to DeSue. Up big, dribbles up. Floats up the runner. No good. Missed by DeSue. Rebound control by Tennessee. 2.45 left. Tennessee's going to slow it down. Only up by four. Dalton connects. Got just two points tonight. 
Top of the key, Ziegler off to connect towards his left. Connect, free throw circle, outside find Ziegler. 12 in the shot clock, Ziegler, dribble, drive, inside Ziegler. Shovels underneath, deflected, battle for the loose ball, intercepted by Texas. Here goes Texas, down by four, looking to cut it to two as they attack the paint with Weaver. No good, floated it up around the rim and out. Here goes Connect, pass a pack of orange jerseys for Texas, and we got bodies down underneath the hoop. Here's the referees. Stop the clock. They burn time. 2.19 left to go. Can somebody make a shot right now? Nobody can score. Whoa. Brock Cunningham. That should be number seven. Charged to Texas. Away from the play. He tripped up a Tennessee player. They, they, they should look at that right there. That, that should be a flagrant. At least a flagrant one. Possibly a flagrant two. For Brock Cunningham, what he did just a moment ago. He just flung down, tripped up a Tennessee player trying to get back in transition. Re referee's got to take a look at that right there. This is this is going to be a TV timeout that they go on right now. 2.19 remaining. Co connect had an easy two. He, he had an easy two and a run out. Out of the pack there. 66-66. NC State and Oakland is tied. With 15 seconds left. We'll keep you guys posted. Clara, welcome in. Thanks for the update. Really appreciate it. Going to flip on the screen right now. Between Oakland and NC State. Illinois having no issues with Duquesne. Duquesne's looking like Richmond. From the second round two years ago, getting shredded right now against Illinois. 21-9, Illinois leads. Oakland, 14 seconds left. They burn a time timeout with 12.3. So Oakland with 12.3 seconds burns a timeout. If you're doing a stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe Ring that notification bell as well. Oakland with 12.3 seconds will have the final possession in the game to see if they can finish it in regulation. And uh, Illinois just made a three, so it's 24 to nine Illinois. What what a fraud that BYU team is. I uh, I watched the ending of that BYU Duquesne game, and BYU had the slowest, most unathletic players I've ever seen in my life. That, that was horrific. They blew two open layups with that Traore guy. I mean, the, those dudes were stumbling and tumbling all over the floor. Like, it, it was bad. Absolutely awful how BYU played against Duquesne. Like, super unathletic dudes that all they tried to do was jack up threes. This tournament's been all about pure athleticism. These sharp shooting teams have gotten cut out of the bracket fast. Yup, anything is possible. FDU, St. Peter's, Princeton. Gonna see it here with the Oakland, the 14 Cinderella. 66 66 with 13.5. Oakland with a chance to win here if they make a shot. They do it right at the buzzer. I've seen it all my life, all these upsets and stuff. In this game, nobody can make a shot. 219 left to go. And the officials, they are reviewing this play with Dylan Dis or uh with um Brock Cunningham it was a terrible foul behind the play here. Terrible, ter terrible foul. This is gonna be at least a flagrant one. It should be. He, he flung down. Oh yeah. Oh, he flung down number two of Tennessee. Brock Cunningham, get him out of here. Flung down J J Jordan Gainey. That should be a flagrant two. That should be a flagrant two. He just shoved them down, flung them down off the rebound. It it's those plays like Texas. Stupid, low IQ plays with Brock Cunningham. Did Oakland just turn it over? Yeah, they threw it away. Oakland just threw it away. Tennessee will head to the line here. I'll keep you guys updated with Oakland versus NC State. Brock Cunningham. 
Terrible foul. That's a flagrant one. Very lucky that's not a flagrant two by Cunningham. That's a flagrant one. Free throw. It's good at the line by Ganey. So he made them both. It's 23-17. Tristan, welcome back in. Thanks for joining in. Let's get that member hype for Tristan out on the channel. NC State and Oakland's tied with one nineteen or uh, with one point three left to go. We got two nineteen remaining before halftime here. Tennessee with a ball as well. That's just a stupid, stupid play by Brock Cunningham as he had to take a seat on the bench. Connect at the right wing. He's yet to make a field goal so far this game. Connect drives, kicks out to the corner. Here's a three by Tennessee. Swoosh. That's good by Zakai Ziegler as he sizzles the triple. Tennessee's largest lead under two minutes left to go before halftime. Ziegler's got four now. Texas has the ball. Hand off to Horton. Ben Brick City so far in this game for Horton. Moosing on top. At the right wing goes to Hunter. Hunter, top of the key. Sends it out to the right wing over to Mitchell. Mitchell, bounce pass goes to DeSue. DeSue, working on one defender. It's Connect. Rises for the jumper over Connect. No good. Around the rim and out. Rebound pulled out by Tennessee. Tennessee looking to go up by double digits here. Connect. Drives. Inside the paint with the left hand. There he is. Scoop score. Up and then off the backboard. Dalton Connect. First main field goal today. 28-17. Really bad for Texas right now that they're down by 11 considering Connect is just four. Able to retrieve the pass at the right corner. Re Weaver dribbles towards his left. Sends it on top over to Mitchell. Mitchell swings it out to the left wing perimeter. Into the hands here at the top of the key. Ithiel Horton will take a three. He buries it. Really needed that one there by Ithiel Horton. It's an eight-point game. Final minute left to go before halftime. Ziegler sends it on top. Hand off over to Connect. Connect towards his right. Sends it outside. Extra pass. Jordan James at the elbow. Into the hands to Ganey. Moves it out to the top to Connect. Connect with the basketball. Shot clock's winding down. Moves it out. Right corner. James. Up fake. James. Baseline dribble. Huge contact right there on the floor. James running over a Texas player. As the clock will stop here. They're going to call it blocking. They're going to call it offensive. Offensive foul picked up. Charge to Josiah Jordan James as he runs over Dylan DeSue. And this will be Texas basketball. 35 seconds left to go before halftime. It will keep you guys posted with Oakland and NC State as that game is heading into overtime. Good chance to check it that one out once we get into halftime. And then miscue off the inbound here for Texas in the quarter. And that is a big ew for Texas. They turned it over off their own inbound. That's 11 turnovers in the first half by Texas. And a timeout taken on the floor. 28 to 19 actually. They have downgraded a 3 by Texas. So it's 28-19. The score right now as we take the timeouts. Two inbound turnovers for Texas in this game. If you can't even inbound a basketball, what are you doing in the tournament right now? Like, this is just brutal. 11 turnovers in the first half. Just mind-boggling here. 28-19. That's what we got in the March Madness scoreboard. ESPN actually has a different score. On their box score, they say it's 26-19 currently, but we'll go with 28 until we can get it. 28-19, 35 seconds left. Tennessee with an inbound back to action. Tennessee with six turnovers. Texas with 11. Connect. Has just four points in this game, yet his team is up by nine. Really, uh... Shows the strong defense for Tennessee. Connect. Dribbles up. Connect. Pro hop. Takes the jumper off the rim. No good. Offensive rebound by Tennessee. Back to connect. Quarter three. Off the back rim. No good. Battle for the rebound. Tennessee came down with it, but they were out of bounds with it. With Meshack. So this will be Texas ball. My clock's going to get rolling. 15 seconds left. As Texas will have the basketball. Got to get some sort of momentum going into halftime. Oakland and NC State going into overtime right now. We'll keep you guys posted currently. Inbound here for Texas. You got to end 
this half with at least a bucket here to have any sort of momentum and a potential comeback. Tough shot there by A. Smith at the buzzer. No good. He took a step back, follow a jumper on an iso ball attempt by Max A. Smith and a bricked off the rim. No good. We go into halftime. 28 to 19. Tennessee leads at the half over Texas. What a dreadful first half there for Texas. Their offense can't get anything going. Right now, Illinois has 27 points in the first 9-plus minutes against Duquesne, and Texas is 19 at halftime. I mean, they're lucky to score more than Virginia, what they had in the round of, 60, uh, round of 68 in the first four game. Max Smith thinking that... Uh, He's out here shooting shots from the parking lot. Okay, time to put on this Oakland-NC State game and really uh, be able to break this down right now. Wow. If you guys are new in the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. If you'd like to be notified for future live streams, the top score for Texas is 5 points. That is Dylan DeSue. Tennessee, leading score has 8. That is Toby Awaka. He also has... Two personal follows. Four points between five different players for Tennessee. Jonas Adu, Dalton Connect, Zakai Ziegler, Josiah Jordan James, and Jordan Ganey all with four. I mean, Connect's bound to go off in the second half. This is tough for Texas right now. NC State and Oakland with 344 remaining. Tie game at 66. By the way, Illinois is shredding Duquesne right now, 27 to 11. Oakland just committed. Uh, half court violation off the inbound. So that, that creates the fingertips of an Oakland player off the inbound. So this should be NC State ball. Yup, Illinois is destroying Duquesne. The score is now 30 to 11. Will Middlebrooks has just followed out. Wow. So they, they called it, a, the referees called it a foul on NC State by Will Middlebrooks. That's a big call right there. That pass was sailing to the backcourt. So Oakland's at the free throw line, and Oakland just made the first free throw. 67-66 Oakland with 344 left. The 14 seed Cinderella trying to get past the 11. Second free throw is no good. Bricked it. Burns collected the rebound for NC State. Will, Will Middlebrooks has fouled out for the Wolfpack. Three and a half left to go. NC State with a possession. 21 points by T. Townsend of Oakland in the second half. He's got 27 in the game, and a three is missed by Horn. Off the mark for NC State, and who was it last touched out by? Oakland's pointing in their direction. NC State's pointing in their direction. Referees meet together, discuss the call. NC State players are around them, and it's going to be Oakland ball. Oakland will get the basketball, leading by one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, number 14 stripped number four from behind. So NC State stripped him, last touched it. Oakland with a chance to build up the lead. 3.15 left in overtime. Oakland, one-point lead, 67-66. Wide open down low. They pass it. They passed it a little bit too late, though, and they missed the shot. Great recovery defensively for NC State. That should have been an open layup, but didn't see him in time. A split second earlier, that should have been a wide open slam dunk. DJ Burns. Oh, he got it. A drop it old rim for the big fella. Circus type of shot right there with a finger roll by DJ Burns. A low down low scores. Takes the lead for NC State. NC State led as many by nine. Oakland down by one. Oakland baseline dribble. They have goal key open at the top. Oakland inside. Oakland triple teamed. Goal key is open at the wing. Instead, they go for a turnaround hook. They missed it, but a pinned off a of Burns last. And it will stay Oakland basketball. Unbelievable game there. DJ Burns is certainly him. So yeah, that went off of Burns last on the last one. So this is going to be Oakland possession. 
225 left. What a battle. Muhammad DR just fallen out. They got dudes falling out left and right here for NC State. Will Middlebrooks fallen out, and there goes Diara. as he finishes with 11 points. And Oakland got followed, so they'll head to the free line and shoot two shots double bonus. A battle of attrition right now in this game. Absolute battle of attrition. Oakland makes the first free throw. It's a tie game. 34-13. to 13. Illinois is shredding Duquesne right now. Yeah, Duquesne got a super soft BYU team and ran into an incredibly athletic Illinois team. Both of the free throws are good. Diara and Middlebrooks, who have combined for 37 points in the first round, have both followed out for NC State. So NC State, these dudes have been playing multiple games within the last week and a half on their seventh game in basically 13 days. For NC State, going to have to pull out an overtime game here. DJ Burns with a put back down low. Oh, man, that was a gift right there. Sailed off the rim right into his hands as easy as it could get. 70-69, to NC State. Oakland lost it at the far side of the floor, and that's going to be an Oakland turnover. Turnover by Oakland with 148 left. What an unbelievable game. It, it always happens with a Cinderella. I remember that Oral Roberts Arkansas game in the Sweet 16 from three years ago. That was unbelievable, that game. PJ Horn, jumper, baseline, drills it. Three point lead for NC State. And then NC State picks up a foul after the shot they made. They made the shot, but, he, but they followed after it went through the cylinder. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think it was on Burns. It was on Burns, yep. So Oakland here at the free line with Blake Lampkin. 42 for 44 this season. He missed one tonight. And he missed that one. That is unbelievable. He missed two free throws the entire season. And he missed two free throws in the same game tonight. Wow. The pressure's on. Got the second one. Two-point lead for NC State. 72-70. to 70, Minute and a half left to play in overtime. NC State with the ball. NC State has it around the perimeter. Bounce pass to Burns. Kick out quarter. Open three for P.J. Horde. He's got it. That dude is a bucket. Or that is Taylor, number one, for NC State, who just buried a three. Five-point NC State lead going into the final minutes. Oakland's going to get something. Oakland needs to get something. Hand off off the screen. Goal key fade away. No good. Came up short. And they tried to come up with a rebound. They were out of bounds. Looking like NC State's going to take it. 56 seconds left. NC State leads by 5. This NC State team is built for overtime. They beat Virginia in an overtime game. They forced overtime in the ACC tournament against Virginia on that ridiculous buzzer beater bank. If they hadn't banked that buzzer beater, they would have been playing in the NIT. Right now, if they're lucky or their season would have been over already. Unreal. Ever since that Virginia bank, they have flipped things completely around. Five and a shot clock. Oakland followed. Yeah, this game slipping away from Oakland. NC States with losses against BYU, Ole Miss by 20 in the non conference slates. Played Tennessee tough. They lost by nine against Tennessee. Lost against North Carolina twice. Lost against v Virginia Tech. Syracuse twice. Pittsburgh. Now they've rallied off six straight, about to make it seven straight. Unbelievable. You know, the crazy part about NC State is, is that they lost four straight games entering the ACC tournament. They lost against Florida State 
Lost against UNC, lost against Duke, lost against Pittsburgh. They went 2-7 and seven in their final nine regular season games. And NC State's about to make the Sweet 16. Unbelievable story. Beat Louisville by just nine in the ACC opener in the tournament. Beat Syracuse 83-65. to They got past Duke 74-69. Beat Virginia in overtime. That's when things completely switched to their favor. That Virginia game, that buzzer beater that they banked in, everything was red hot fire for this NC State team ever since. Beat North Carolina last Saturday in the ACC Championship. Beat and got past Texas Tech easily on Thursday, 80-67, to and about to get by Oakland here in overtime. What, what a story. This team has a 20-point loss against Ole Miss this season, which was not an NCAA tournament team. This is unbelievable. I mean, they, they don't even have, like, terrible losses. Virginia Tech was one of them. That was one of the more worst losses for them. Syracuse, they got swept to twice. They lost to them twice. Lost against Florida State on February 27th. I mean, this team a month ago lost against Florida State. Crazy. A absolutely crazy. The fact that this team with zero quality wins entering the tournament during the regular season made noise to the Sweet 16. Now, this is unbelievable. Here's their wins in the non-conference league. They played a relatively easy non-conference. They beat the Citadel. They beat Abilene Christian. Charleston Southern beat Vanderbilt by just six. Maryland Eastern Shore, Tennessee Martin, St. Louis, Detroit Mercy. That was their non-conference schedule. Lost against BYU, lost against Ole Miss, lost against Tennessee. They had three losses against major conference teams in the schedule in the non-conference slate. Then they go on to conference play. They go 9-11 and 11 in conference play. 11 seed in the ACC tournament win the championship. 11 seed here. And the NCAA tournaments go to the Sweet 16. Just unbelievable. Yeah, they, they are just came out of nowhere. They they remind me of like Oregon State from that run in 2021. Just came out of completely out of the blue. Crazy. I'm going to dig into that Oregon State team. That team, I think, won like five games in five days that year, too. Oregon State went 10-10 ten and ten in the Pac-12 in 2021. They entered the Pac-12 tournament with a record of 14-12. and 12. It's Kind of similar to NC State. NC State's got 11 losses. You could see it coming, though, for Oregon State. They got red hot. They won three straight records. Uh, they... Went 3-1 and one in their final four that year in the regular season. It's not like they lost four straight to close out the regular season. And then they go with a five-game, five-run, five-run, uh, five games and five days winning the conference tournament. This is insane. Wow. Crazy. That Oregon State team that made it to the Elite Eight, by the way, had losses against Wyoming and Portland. Just insane. They beat Tennessee in the first round three years ago. They beat Tennessee 70-56. to Beat Cade Cunningham in the second round 80-70. to And then they got by Loyola Chicago 65-58. They ended up losing to Houston in the Elite Eight. NC State moves on to the Sweet 16. 79-73 over Oakland. Unbelievable. First Sweet 16 appearance since 2015 for NC State. Just completely out of the blue. Let's see. They're in the bracket with... This bracket, honestly, could be, could be busted even more tomorrow if Marquette loses. Wouldn't shock me if Marquette loses. Colorado as a 10... 
will take on Marquette. So NC State in Houston's region will take on the winner of Marquette versus Colorado. So over in the South region, the number three is lost. The number five is lost. Kentucky, Wisconsin are both lost. The six, Texas Tech is lost. The seven, Florida lost. Nebraska was the eight, they lost. So out of this region, it's in the South region, Houston, Texas A&M, James Madison, Duke, NC State, and the winner of Marquette versus Colorado. Just crazy. You can see an 11 versus 10 possibly in the Sweet 16. Would not shock me. That's just insane that they crushed the Texas Tech team that's super physical. Just unbelievable. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be one heck of a matchup there. DJ Burns versus Eddie Lampkin, the battle of the dudes. Holy smokes. Yep. The battle of who is him. Absolute monsters. Still at halftime. Thanks all for patiently waiting, being a part in the stream. I'll be back tomorrow. Triple header tomorrow, so get ready. Colorado taking on Marquette at 1210. I'll be back for that stream. Followed up by James Madison versus Duke and what should be a good one tomorrow afternoon. That will take place at... 515 for tomorrow and then late night will be 8 40 p.m. Texas A&M taking on Houston. Duquesne having some difficulty. Illinois 40, Duquesne 20. Yeah, Duquesne looks like Richmond from two years ago in the second round when Providence destroyed Richmond. That's just an easy, easy layup game there for Illinois. Tough for Duquesne. You have one day to to put together a game plan for Illinois. So that's that's really difficult there for Duquesne. The the matchups that they had for for Duquesne, they went against basically the most unathletic team in the nation with BYU that just shoots threes all game, and then they faced one of the most athletic backcourts in the nation with Illinois. So that's that's a really difficult matchup there for them. Going from basically Jackal and Hyde. It's going to be like Grand Canyon tomorrow for them. Grand Canyon goes um, up against a St. Mary's team that's one of the slowest tempo offenses that just hangs in with their defense. And then Grand Canyon goes out yesterday and just balls out against them. Um, and then Grand Canyon tomorrow going to take on Alabama, top scoring team in the nation. So they go from... St. Mary's slow tempo offense to one of the highest paced offenses with Alabama. Wouldn't it shock me if James Madison wins that game tomorrow in the Battle of the Dukes. Absolutely crazy. I gotta see this Battle of the Dudes matchup. Colorado against NC State. Lampkin against Burns if that happens. Shaka Smart's got a big one for him tomorrow. I'm gonna go over the track record here of Shaka Smart before we get back for the second half. Just a history of choking these games. So there is a chance. Uh, Shaka Smart has yet to make the second weekend since 2011. 2011 Final Four with VCU, round of 32 exit in 2012, round of 32 exit in 2013, first round exits in 2014, 2015, and 2016, same as 2018, and 2021 when they lost to Abilene Christian 
2022, they lost in the first round at Marquette. And then last year, lost as a two seed in the round of 32 to Tom Izzo. So that's now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ever since the Final Four appearance at VCU, Shaka Smarts missed nine second weekend NCAA tournament appearances for him. Big one tomorrow, potentially could make it 10 if they can't get past Colorado. So they've lost in the round of 64 or the round of 32 nine straight times under head coach Shaka Smart, whether it's Marquette, Texas, or VCU. 28 to 19 here. <laughs> rough, rough game for Texas. They cannot buy buckets. This is the Tennessee defense that we know that had been top five in defensive efficiency throughout the course of this season for Tennessee. They are led by Toby Iwaka with eight points, four points by five different players. One of those includes Dalton Connect, who's just one for eight shooting. This is a really positive line here for Tennessee because Connect's just one for eight. They got themselves right now a, a lead right now at the half here. I mean, their defense is just a force. So here we go. Second half about to start. If you guys are new in the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Ring that notification bell if you guys would like to be notified for future live streams as well. Texas with 11 turnovers in the first half. Got to keep the ball on in front. Two of those turnovers were inbound violations. 28-19. For some reason, ESPN's got it 26-19, which is wrong. Here we go. Left to right on the floor as we start off. Half number two of action. Tennessee with the possession first. Ziegler has it at the top of the key. Ziegler, one-on-one, -on -one, dribbles up. He drives inside. Ziegler, bounce pass, trying to thread the needle. Got intercepted by Texas. Up the floor goes Ace Miss. A. Smith moves it off to the trailer. Downhill to the rim. Missed the layup. No good by Tyrese Hunter. Tennessee with a possession. Connect. Fires away from three. Missed off the mark. No good. He's just one for ten shooting. The rebound gets pulled down by Texas. Nine point lead despite Dalton Connect tossing the bricks in this game. And the defense has been outstanding all game long for Tennessee. Dasu. Outside moves it over to number two at Chendall Weaver. Right baseline dribble. Dasu powers his way down low off the turnaround. He scores for two. Seven-point game right now. Dylan DeSue went off last year in the round of 32 against Penn State. Ziegler passes off the roll down. Gets it. Huge rejection by DeSue. It was over the cylinder, though. It will be a goaltend. So that will be a bucket for Jonas Adu for Tennessee. Good assist right there by Ziegler. What's well, good, sports fan in the stream? Congrats, man. That is incredible. Seven wins in one and a half weeks. Just incredible for NC State. Far side of the floor here. Pass gets deflected out. This is going to still stay Tennessee basketball. Illinois jumping all over Duquesne, 46-24. to And the inbound gets stolen away. Tennessee comes out with the steals. They take it off to the races. Vescovy cashes it home with a layup. Twelfth turnover just a moment ago for Texas. Texas got to keep this ball out in front if they want to have any sort of chance. This is bad. They might not even reach 40. They might score less than Virginia did on Tuesday. DeSue backs his way. DeSue lost the handle. And a reach and fall picked up by Tennessee. That was close to being another turnover. A lot of serious ball pressure that Tennessee is having on Texas. And Texas just can't do anything. This is, this is awful for Texas. Like, come on. You got defenses in the Big 12 like Houston and Iowa State. They're, they're preparing you for this game. Th this is pathetic by Texas that you're turning it over 12 times against Tennessee. This should be nothing new. Nothing new. You got Houston, Iowa State over the Big 12 that prepares you for this level style of defense. This is atrocious. 
Can they turn it over for the 13th time? Kick out to the corner. Weaver, right baseline. Jimbo soars up and he gets fouled. Two shots coming up by Weaver at the line. Dusty Main of Michigan. Yup, so this is according to Woj. So Woj, three minutes ago, tweeting out ESPN sources, Florida Atlantic's Dusty May has agreed to a deal to become the next coach at the University of Michigan. First free throw was good by Weaver at the line. Peace and light, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. Second free throw is good. 32-23. It seems more it's like a 20-point blowout for Tennessee considering that Texas cannot make a shot. Texas is 9 for 28 shooting. Tennessee is 12 for 38. Both of these teams shooting the ball horrific in this game right now. Right baseline dribble Ziegler. Bounce pass left corner. Jordan James off the up big. Sends it out to the top to connect. Dalton connect. 10 in the shot clock. Connect. Dribbles up. Drives inside and... He had it, says he lost it out of bounds. Turnover committed there by Connect. Texas with an inbound in their backcourt. Connect with two turnovers now, just four points in this game. Yet yeah, his team is up by nine. Thank goodness for the Tennessee defense. Texas with the ball. Left wing perimeter. Hunter sends it on top. A Smith back to A Smith off the dribble handoff. A Smith dribbles out. Floats up the runner. Couldn't even get that. That's as easy as a floater that you can get uncontested at the low block. And Max A Smith missed it. Trying to do too much. Here goes Ziegler. A nice dump off down low. They scored a bucket for Tennessee. Jonas Zadu on her knee to get to the go. Dropping down for two. Under 17 minutes left to go. Texas in deep, deep trouble right now. Ace Miss. Has that the March Madness logo. Ace Miss dribbles up to the left wing. Sends it off top of the key over to DeSue. And DeSue drives down low. Got a block swatted away. Tennessee with numbers in transition. It was Adu with a block. Connect. Pass over to Adu. Try to throw it down with a left hand and flush. But he missed the slam dunk. As it bricked off the back rim and sailed out of bounds. It's going to be Texas ball. An explosive play there by Adu. But couldn't finish executing the dunk. 13 turnovers now for Texas by the way. That would have been a left-handed poster if AD had finished. Texas down by 11. Outside to the right wing. They move it over to the left wing here with Mitchell. Mitchell. Hand off on the outside. Goes over to A. Smith. Corner three. Comes up short. A. Smith. Just brick city. In this game tonight, he is 1 for 6 shooting. Tennessee slows down the possession. Lob over the top. Tennessee couldn't cover on the lob. That's a turnover by the Vols. This is ugly. This game is ugly here with the turnovers. 34 to 23 with 15 54 left to go. Yikes. This is looking like 2012 Tennessee versus Georgetown. Ah. Oh my goodness. 13 turtles by Texas, 9 for Tennessee. Dalton Connect is 1 for 9 shooting. Zakai Ziegler is 1 for 7, yet they got themselves an 11-point lead. Tennessee's defense is limiting Texas to 29%, 2 for 10 from 3. Tennessee's 1 for 14 from 3, yet they're still winning. 32.5% from the floor for Tennessee. Top score for Texas is 7 with Dylan DeSue. This has just been a nightmare game right now. So whoever wins this game is going to face Creighton or Oregon. Whoever wins that night game tonight. That's the final game tonight. Creighton versus Oregon. That will tip off at 10 o'clock. Creighton last year made it to the Elite Eight. Dana Altman always gets the best out of his teams in March. That's a great matchup. Plus, Dana Altman used to coach Creighton before he became the head coach of Oregon. 
Kind of similar to Rick Barnes, head coach at Tennessee, used to coach at Texas. Yeah, sorry to hear that, uh, Bradley. Oh, man, that's that's unfortunate there. They they should have waited for Michigan. That Michigan should have at least offered Greg Campy an opportunity there to see if he he wanted to be a coach for the team. I mean, leading Oakland past Kentucky. I mean, that's well deserving. It's been there for forty years. You don't see that too often. Thanks for the update. One hundred and ninety four Celtics by six over the Bulls. They should be up by more. I know they got injuries tonight. Just want to see what they got for separation there. Oakland's. Oakland University. It's out of Michigan. University of Michigan Ann Arbor. That's an hour away. Yeah, that's an hour away. So 57 minutes separate Oakland University and Michigan from the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. Back to action in this horrific game right now. Oh, it's 32. My bad. Did they take away a bucket? I think they took away one on the goaltend earlier. It's 32-23. So scoreboard correction, it's 9 instead of 11. Josiah Jordan James just picked up a reach and fall. So that's now number 3 for him. So he'll have to take a seat on the bench. Two personal falls for Texas between A. Smith and Cunningham. Three by Awaka, three by James. Vescovy has got two. Inbound for Texas. Ace miss. His pass. Turned over. Intercepted by Vescovy. Up the floor. Transition three. Around and out. No good. Throw. Oh, no, but a two-handed flush. There is. Dotted connect. Flying in. There's 34 to board for Tennessee. Dotted connect. Up to six now tonight. Sword up for the putback dunk. Passing in the middle. To Sue underneath. Fires it. Over to Weaver. Weaver drives downhill. Floats up the runner. Weaver draws some contact here and a foul on the floor picked up by the Vols. So here we see a, it was a transition three by Ziegler and then Dalton Connect came flying in and just threw it down. Two-handed putback jam. It's the best play we've seen all game. A lot of bad execution offensively throughout this one. First free throw is good by Weaver. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, or ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified for future live streams. This game is sure been choppy right now. Hey, that's awesome. Best of luck going to uh, Mass next week there for Jeffrey. That's right. Easter's coming up. Next Sunday. Second free throw here by Weaver. At the free throw line, he gets it. Nine point game. 15 minutes left to go. And a grind of a offensive offensive grind. It's been all defense in this one. A rock fight. First one of 50 is going to win this one if anybody even gets there. Ziegler, bounce pass. Oh, they're neat with a bucket score by Toby Awaka. He's been major in this game for Tennessee today. 10 points, the leading score for the Vols. Four for five. That's all coming from the bench by Awaka. Ace miss. Sends it on top. Jab step here by DeSue. DeSue dribbles up. Bounce pass. Backdoor cutter. Kick out to the wing. They gave up an open layup for a three. Oh, it worked out in their favor though. Texas able to splash down a three. That's a long time coming. Chendel Weaver's got himself nine. He's the top scorer for Texas. Ziegler circles around the key. Dumps it off down low. Hey, we got some score here. Tennessee gets the bucket with 
Jemai Meshack. 10 point game now. Texas inbound, struggling with it in their backcourt. They were pressured by Ziegler, able to get it though off the deflection. 14 minutes left to go. A. Smith has it at the March Madness logo. A. Smith towards his left around the perimeter. A. Smith moves it on top to Sue. Laces up a three to Sue. Off the rim, around the rim, and out. Touched last by the Vols. Oh, awesome there. Yeah, I remember Tim Welch. That's awesome. You remember Rick Barnes all the way back at the time that he was at PC. Yeah, I was uh, I was too little to re to remember that inbound here at the wing, missed off the mark, no good by Weaver for Texas, jacking up too many threes, breaking them lately here for the Longhorns. Thirteen and a half left to go. Ziegler towards his right. Ziegler fires a fastball right corner, catch and fire three for Tennessee, bricked off the backer by Ganey. Offensive rebound secured by Awaka. Awaka. Off to connect, connect, top of the free throw circle. And, uh-oh, we got Dylan DeSue, who is down. He's been having issues with, a knee, with his knee this season, and he is down right now as the medical staff has to come out. Uh-oh. Head coach Roddy Terry gets called by his teammates to come out, and Dylan DeSue is having trouble with his left knee as the referees stop time. Dylan DeSue got injured against Baylor last month. Baylor came back. They were down by double digits. Came back and won that game last month. I do not like the looks of that. Do not, do not like the looks of that fall by DeSue on the hardwood. But DeSue's walking off on his own power, so that's good. He's the number two player on the team. Like him and the Ace Miss do the bulk of the scoring. And Ace Miss has been non-existent tonight. So this is bad for Texas right now. Really, really bad for Texas here. Twenty eight points with we have just above thirteen minutes left. Thirteen ten left to go. Texas uh playing defense here is Connect takes the three. Connect missed it. He's having a tough game. Mayshack came up with a rebound and got followed. That's gonna be a loose ball follow charge to Texas. That's only their first this half. Twelve to four offensive rebounds in favor of Tennessee. Yeah, Texas just man inconsistency this year for them. Just a no show here. I'm I'm stunned that they're not finding more gaps in the Tennessee defense. There goes Connect who scores for two. I mean, you you get prepared with Houston and Iowa State in conference play. You get two cracks at both of those teams with their tough defense. Number one and number two defense on Kempom this season in defensive efficiency, and you put up 28 right now. I mean, this is just unbelievable. And they step out of bounds with it. Turnover. Their foot was out of bounds by Texas. It will go back to Tennessee with 12.40 left. Woof. Yeah, that score was worrisome. How they played against Colorado State, 56-44. Just an ugly win by them. Just brutal. Three assists and 12 turnovers against Colorado State. Today they've had four assists to 14 turnovers. And then it connects. Steps out of bounds. This, this is an awful game. Oh, goodness. Dudes are stepping out of bounds and they don't even know. A. Smith, a lot of dribbling towards his left. Sends it off to Weaver, a lot of dribbling. Lost the handle, turns it over. There's a tie-up here on the floor. Possession arrow is going to go to Texas. They're lucky. Texas will have the possession arrow. 12-point lead for Tennessee with just above 12 minutes left. What a brutal game. A. Smith is averaging 17. He's got three tonight. If you're new in the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. Texas looking to see if they can properly inbound this. The pass, the midcourt deflected up in the air. They pick it up, though, off the ricochet. Dangerous, dangerous pass off the inbound, and then the connect gets called in the reach-in. That's now number five picked up charge to Tennessee for fouls. Tennessee's top scorer has 10. 
with a Waka off the bench. Connect couldn't have a worse game than this tonight. 3 for 12, 0 for 6 from 3. He's got 8 for Connect, and their team is up 12 right now. Max A. Smith has had a horrific game. There's Brock Cunningham, who buries down the 3. Finally, somebody can make a shot. A. Smith has 3 points on 1 for 7 shooting, 1 for 4 from 3. 4 turnovers for him tonight. 11.40 left to go. Tennessee with a possession. Ziegler. Bounce pass in the middle. Meshack outside finds Ziegler. 11 and a half left to go. Ziegler launches a three straight away. No good. Around the rim and out. Rebound secured by Asmus. Asmus up the floor with it now. Asmus dribble drive inside the paint. Moves it out to Cunningham. Cunningham just made the last three. Bounce pass to the cutter. Swords up. Weaver. Oh, he got rejected. Another opportunity. Weaver went up. He got fouled. That's going to be charged to Meshack. And Chendall Weaver will shoot two at the line. Hey, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks for joining in, Felix. Yeah, Duquesne's getting the doors blown off them at halftime right now. So there's two terrible games being played right now. This one at least is close somewhat. 40-31 to 31 with 11-13 left as we will take a timeout. First of 50 is going to win this one. Fifty to twenty-six. Illinois is more points than these teams, and Illinois is at half right now. We played almost twenty-nine minutes of basketball in this game. Just all around, this has been a horrific game. These are the shooting numbers. It's really bad. Uh, Texas is 11 th for 36. They're 31% shooting. 4 for 14 from 3. Tennessee is 16 for, 30, 16 for 47. They're 34%. 1 for 18 from 3 by Tennessee tonight. I mean, Tennessee is bricking threes. And they're leading this game. And they've had a pretty good perimeter team this year. I mean, this is this is unfortunate for Tennessee. Um, lucky that their defense came to play today, honestly, because this is even worse for Texas. One for 18 from three for Tennessee. The bad part about that is for Tennessee is that Texas is the 14th, is number 14 in perimeter defense this year in the Big 12. That's that's the that's the worst part about it is. Is uh, Texas's defense has really been bad from the perimeter. It's just been a tough, tough game. Wow. Like, I can under understand it if both of these teams were facing a physical opponent with one day of rest coming off round one, but Tennessee beat St. Peter's 83-49, to and then Texas beat a Mountain West team in Colorado State 56-44. I mean, Tennessee is coming off a win against one of the smallest teams in the nation, St. Peter's, which beat a Division three school, Keene University, by three points in a game this season. And then Colorado State's one of the smaller teams, too. They're at the bottom of the nation in rebounding per game this season. Chandel Weaver at the free to line shooting, too. First one's good. See if they can tighten up the gap right now. 40 to 32. Now it's 40 to 33. Seven point game. Four for 14 from three for Texas. Just one for 18 for Tennessee. Dalton connects playing a rough, having a tough time. Just three for 12. He's got eight points. Yet they get a seven point lead. Bounce pass back to a cutter. Connects going up. Connect gets followed. 
And that is charged to Desu, who is back on the floor now. So Desu is having some uh, issues with his knee. Came off towards the bench for a little bit, and now he's back in. Hey, I'll see you back tomorrow, Alex. Thanks for joining in, man. Free throw is coming up here for Connect, and he missed the first one. Second free throw by Connect. Got it. Eight point lead for Tennessee. Texas gets the inbound in their backcourt. A Smith crosses midcourt, defended by Ganey. Has it at the March Madness logo. Sends it off to Cunningham. Cunningham pass, broke it up, got intercepted. Three on two up the floor. Kick out corner. Three, Tennessee. Gady off the back room. No good. They've only made one three. They missed 18. Here goes Texas up the floor, taking it right to the rim. They score up and then off the backboard. It's Chandel Weaver who is finding something right now on this team for Texas. Six point game. Weaver's had a pretty solid game. He's got 13. He is the top scorer tonight. On the floor right now. Three for six by Weaver. Off the bench with 13. Saving his team. Connect. At the elbow. Working on Weaver. Connect. Backs his way. Six in the shot clock. Connect. Turn around Jay. Bricked it. Off the back rim on a 15 footer. And Tennessee commits the loose ball foul. Texas with a little bit of momentum here. 10.05 left. Who wants it more? Texas has been down by double digits with no signs of offense. And now they started to find something with Weaver. And Awaka picked up the foul. Awaka just picked up his fourth. Awaka off the bench for Tennessee committed number four. And he is the top scorer. He's the lone player in double figures with 10. Dylan DeSue's at the free to line too. That's number seven committed by Tennessee for fouls. Texas were just two personal fouls this half. So Tennessee is in the... They, they sent Texas to the bonus. So Texas is now in the bonus to sue one and one. Free throw's good. We got a game here. It's only a five-point game. Nicholas in the stream, welcome in. This will be a major upset right here if this happens. Because Texas... They, they look like they were dead in the water. They were down by double digits. And a walk of the top score for Tennessee... Goes to the bench for a significant amount of time with four falls. You got to have Dalton connect step up right now and make some shots if you're Tennessee. Vescovy's got three. Jordan James has three as well for fouls. At the right wing at Ziegler. Ziegler's been shut down as well. Sends it off to connect. Now at the low block over to Adu. Adu hand off Ziegler. 12 in the shot clock. Ziegler dribbles up inside the key. Ziegler bounce pass down low. Adu, Adu hook shot underneath. No good. Rolled around the rim and it's spun out. Texas comes up with a rebound. Four-point game. Tennessee in a massive scoring drought. A. Smith, top of the key. Off the Cunningham. Takes the three. No good off the rim. Rebound secured by Vescovy. That would have been massive if Cunningham made the three, but he missed it. Connect with a three. Oh, he bricked it. Rebound secured by DeSue. Can anybody buy a bucket here? Weaver, been a player of the game for Texas. Moves it off to Aismas, handoff, Cunningham, Aismas, kick out quarter into the hands to Hunter. Tyrese Hunter drives inside the paint, dish out to the top of the key. Weaver takes the three, bricked off the back room, no good. Rebound, secure for Tennessee. Somebody's got to make a shot. Under nine minutes left to go, it's been Brick City here, folks. Tennessee is 1 for 20 from 3 to the rim. Oh, they got it with a layup. Zakai Ziegler takes it home, cashes it through for 2. Timeout on the floor. 43-37. Actually, they're going to keep on playing. It looked like they were going to cut away, but they will keep on playing here. 43-37, not yet. We're not under 8 just yet. Once we get under 8, we'll have the media timeouts. Looked like somebody was going to take the timeout there, but didn't. Three timeouts remaining for both of these teams. Top of the key, Cunningham. Dribbles towards his right. Bounce pass shot. A thread the needle for a backdoor cutter. It's a turnover for Texas. Oh, man. Brutal with these turnovers. That's now 16 for Texas for turnovers. 16 turnovers. 27 brick shots. 
Oh man, this is this is as bad as it can get when as as bad as an offensive game it could get. Ziegler dribbles, drives up to the elbow. Ziegler slides it on top. Jordan James up fake. Jordan James inside, and the basketball gets swatted away. Blocked. Tennessee came back with it. Here's an open three. Vescovy bricked it off the back rim, tipped up to Texas for the defensive rebound. And now we're under eight minutes left to go. Aismith shovels downhill to the rim. There goes Hunter with a layup. Four-point game once again. First of 50, probably going to take this one. Tennessee with a possession. Where is Dalton Connect? A first-team All-American. Oh, there he goes. Backdoor corner. Throwing it down with a two-handed flush by the All-American. Dalton Connect. What a pass right there by Jonas Adu. Off the backdoor cutter to Connect. 7.20 remaining. Texas with possession. At the right wing perimeter, Acemas. Acemas takes the three, falling away. Oh, he hits it. Max Acemas, he shows up too. Bang, bang. A laser beam from the perimeter. It's a three-point game. Timeout on the floor. 45-42. Acemas with a fall away. Connect. Flushes it down with a two-hand jam. And finally, the star players for both of these teams show up with under eight minutes left. They fell asleep for the first 32, and here they are for the final eight. Battle to the finish. Who wants it more, Connect or Ace Miss? Connect's got 11. Ace Miss has got six. We're going to take the timeout here with 7-11. Texas took the timeout, by the way. They're down to two timeouts. Tennessee's got three. What a game here that wasn't really any sort of game offensively for a long part. And finally, got a couple good plays recently in this game. 16 turnovers by Texas, 11 by Tennessee. Tennessee has been horrific from three. One for 21 from three-point range against the number 14-ranked three-point defense in the Big 12, Texas. Texas is 5 for 17 from 3. If Texas makes some more threes, they win this game. Tennessee, you gotta you gotta have Connect go off right now. Gotta go off here if your Dalton connects. Ice Ice Baby with a membership. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Jack City. Glad to have you back in the stream here, man. Gifted a membership by Ice Ice Baby. Jack City, the legend of the channel. Welcome back in. What a game. What a game going down. Hit us up in the chat who you guys like to win. Type it in. Texas or Tennessee. Hook them. Rocky Top. Put it out in the chat for me. UT versus UT coming down to the wire. 45 42, 7 11 left to go. Rick Barnes going up against his former program. This will be just unfortunate for Tennessee. You're the two seed. You've led the entire game basically, led by double digits. If you cough up the lead, I mean, that's just rough. Especially, especially in the season that they've had. They've had a bunch of momentum going into the tournament. They did lose against Mississippi State. In Kentucky, um, but before that, they had won. They they went on a roll. Uh, before that, they had won against I think it was three ranked opponents in a row for Tennessee before the Kentucky loss in the regular season finale, and they went eight and two in their last ten games, entering tonight's matchup here for Tennessee. For Texas, it's kind of been kind of up and down, up and down. They're ten and ten since the start of Big Twelve play. They started off the season at 11 and 2. We come back to action. Tennessee turned it over off the inbound. They took it up the floor, a couple of dribbles and lost it. Texas with a possession, 12 turnovers by Tennessee, 16 turnovers by Texas. 7 minutes left. Texas attacking inside Ace Smith floats it off to Desue up fake. Floater Desue no good around Cunningham offensive rebound. Texas baseline dribble Hunter. His pass tried to thread the needle. 
Loose ball on the hardwood. Who's got it? And Weaver loses it. Turnover number 17 by Texas. Tennessee comes up with a steal. Pass down low. Underneath they do. Flushes it home with a two-handed jam for Tennessee. An assist there by Zakai Ziegler, who's averaging six assists per game. He has got eight. Texas with a possession. First of 50, probably going to win this one, combining for 29 turnovers. Tennessee 15 of five points off turnovers to Sue. Brick the three off the back rim. A rebound secured by Jordan James. And Texas reaches in on a foul picked up on the floor here. Off the loose ball. Six minutes left. That's going to be charged to DeSue, I believe, in the personal. We're going to take a timeout here on the floor. Six minutes left to go. That's the media break now with six left even. DeSue picked up the foul. Foul trouble currently looks like this. Three by Jordan James for Tennessee. Three by Toby Awaka, who's been brilliant in this game. Vescovy has got two. Two by Hunter, A. Smith, and Cunningham. Desu just picked up his first. Wow. If you're new in the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. If you'd like to be notified for future live streams, tomorrow night I plan on being back covering... Or uh, tomorrow I plan on being back covering Marquette against Colorado. So feel free to join in. Uh, for some reason, my time went blank. So I'm just going to see if I can... Oop. Actually, I got a couple things that completely reversed on me. Actually, so I'm going to go back to this thing. Yeah, they, ch they changed the North Carolina colors by accident. And my letters got lost. Whoopsie. What the hell? What in the world happened right there? That's so weird. The whole thing glitched. Oh, it came back. Uh, there's my colors. So, so weird. Gotta get those letters back on, though. Should be an S. Yep. It's very weird why it glitched like that. Okay, I'm gonna get the clock back, too. I'm just gonna stop the stream for a moment and then get the clock back. For some reason, it will glitch from time to time. We got six minutes left. So I'm just gonna stop the stream, exit out, come back. So if you see a buffer, um, it's gonna be back within five seconds here. All right, so there we go. We got six minutes left to go. Yeah, for some reason, it will glitch from time to time with my scoreboard. But now we get it back. 47-42, Tennessee. That'll happen from time to time for some reason. Hey, thanks so much for the update there, Jeffrey. Appreciate the man. So big win for the Celtics tonight. Able to beat Chicago. Rolling right now. And if, if you're just joining in, this has been a brick fest. You haven't really missed much. The score says it all. On the board currently, 47 Tennessee, 42 Texas, 1 for 21 by Tennessee from 3. They made 5 plus 3 point field goals in every game this season for the Vols. And tonight they've only made 1, they've missed 23. 6 minutes left, we come back from the timeout. Left to right on the floor, Tennessee with the basketball. Tennessee has it at the wing with Ziegler. Ziegler receives the pass from Jordan James. Connect is out there as well, same as Adu, who's on the floor. And number 15 with... Jemai Meshack. If you're just joining in, Dalton Connect, the All American, only has 11, yet he's the top scorer on the team for Tennessee. He's shooting just 4 for 15. Max Aismas having a tough game as well for Texas. Quarter three. Oh, that could be the dagger right there off the inbound. Guess who shows up for the final six and under? It is Dalton Connect. He buried the three off the inbound. That's massive. For Tennessee, three-point make number two tonight for the Vols. Texas, down by eight. Gotta go, gotta go. Desu, top of the key. Hands it off to A. Smith. He only has six. A. Smith drives, kicks out to the corner. Hunter, Hunter back on top. Desu takes the three. No good. Around the rim and out. Rebound secure by Connect. Connect looking to take over in the final five minutes for the All-American. 
Connect with 14. Top score in the game. Connect floats the pass down low. Adu runner came off the rim short. Rebound secured by Dasu. Texas with under five minutes left. Aismith towards his left. Aismith attacks inside the paint. Aismith gets fouled. It's picked up by Mayshack and Aismith will shoot two shots at the free throw line. What a game here, folks. If you're new in the stream, we got 100 watching. Make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. What a game. Max Aismith, 89% free throw shooter this season, just under 90. Just six points only tonight. First trip to the free throw line, first one he's got. Creighton up early against Oregon 9-6. The winner of this game will face the winner of Creighton versus Oregon. Creighton looking to make an even deeper run this season. They went all the way to the Elite 8 last year. Lost to San Diego State by 1. Both of the free throws are good for Texas by Max A. Smith. Six-point game. Tennessee with the basketball. They have it with Ziegler at the left wing. He sends it over to Jordan James. Eight seniors in this team. They're the first of 50 today. Mayshack at the top of the key. Mayshack moves that left corner. Jordan James takes a three. Right down the shoot delivers. Back-to-back -back threes for Tennessee after missing their first 20. Texas. 420 left to go. Baseline dribble underneath. Oh, nice up fake. And Hunter scores the layup. Uh, not sure entirely just yet. Possibly next week, I have to see my schedule because I do have to prep a little bit for uh, these upcoming games. I get games in person Wednesday and Saturday next week for lacrosse. I'm not entirely sure just yet, and I want to do tournament games on Thursday and Friday next week. Mystery by Ziegler off. It's a rebound connect. No good. Smashed off the glass. Cunningham collects the defensive rebound. Other four minutes left to go. Pro hop inside. Oh, that's a strong drive. Tyrese Hunter for two. Off the pro hop in transition. Five-point game now. Tennessee with a possession. Slowing down tempo. Ziegler moves it off to connect. Sends it over to the right corner. Back into the hands here of Ziegler. Right baseline dribble over to Adu. Hand off Ziegler. Right corner. Ziegler dribbles up. Snakes his way around. Dribble drive inside. Mayshack back out to the top. Ziegler laces up a three. Bricked off the back room. No good. Went to the back of the backboard out of bounds. It'll be Texas basketball. 3-12 left to play. Tyrese Hunter keeping his team hanging in. Who wants it more in a battle of the orange teams? UT versus UT. Tennessee or Texas? We take the timeouts. Got 100 plus watching. If you're new in the stream, smash the thumbs up. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. We are less than 25 subscribers away from 25,000 on the channel here. Everybody, I cover basketball action play-by-play. -play. College hoops, NBA games too. I'll be back tomorrow streaming a triple header. Make sure to tune in starting off tomorrow at 1210. Colorado takes on Marquette. Afterwards, Duke versus James Madison around 5 o'clock. And then the nightcap with Houston versus Texas A&M. Winner of this game will take, the, take on the winner of Creighton versus Oregon. In the Sweet 16, Creighton with a three-point lead, 13 to 10. Illinois is shredding Duquesne, 68 to 40. Illinois leads. What a game right now! Tyrese Hunter willing his team right back into it for Texas. Chandel Weaver is the top scorer for Texas. He's got 13. Everybody else has single digits. Nine points by DeSue. The crazy stat is that the top scorer for Texas has fe has fewer amount of points than, than the turnovers total in this game for Texas. Texas has 17 turnovers. They have 16 made field goals. And their top scorer has 13 points. That's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. 17 turnovers, yet they're down by 5. Tennessee has 12 turnovers. Dalton Connect is the top scorer tonight with 14. 10 points by Toby Awaka off the bench. He has been massive in this game.
really, really ugly game today. 32 combined. Or 29 combined turnovers. 17 and 12. Just ugly game. The battle for UT. Rocky Top or Hook'em? Type in, in the chat here, Texas or Tennessee, who you're rooting for, let me know out in the chat. I mean, Tennessee shouldn't be struggling this much offensively against Texas. Texas with their defense ranked 92nd in points allowed, 106th in scoring. Tennessee, 45th in the nation in scoring. I mean, you're 45th in the nation in scoring, and they're putting up 53. They're averaging 79.6 per game this season for Tennessee. They're 53rd in defense for points allowed in an explosive SEC conference that has offenses like Alabama and Kentucky. As Hunter soared up at the rim, got blocked out of bounds from behind, it will be Texas basketball here. His last touch by Tennessee. Out of bounds. Big block right there from behind by Jonas Adu. So Texas will get the inbound underneath. Three minutes left to go. Ace miss. That was a dangerous pass. Floated it up over to DeSue in the corner. DeSue, tough shot. Took it. And no good. It went around the rim and out. He tries to go for a deep two jumper at the elbow and missed it. I mean, Dylan DeSue is not Kevin Durant out here. Former UT Longhorn 2. Hand off of the wing. Ziegler slowing down tempo with a very, very gross offensive game here. Connect with 14. Off to Adu. Down low. Wide open. Fine. It's an easy layup. Backdoor with a bucket scored for two for Tennessee. Made by Jordan James. Great assist right there by Adu. Seven point game. 215 left. DeSue. Jumper. Straight away. Three. Oh, he hits it. Dylan DeSue buries the three. It's a four-point game. Approaching two minutes left to go. DeSue's got 12 right now. Ziegler sends it off to connect off the screen. Took the jumper, missed. Fire tipped off the glass. Texas out of the pack. Comes down with a chance to pull. Winning a one-possession game. They do. Right to the rim. They score. Up and then off the backboard. Tyrese Hunter in transition. Scores the layup. It's only a two-point game here, folks. 1.45 left to go. Tennessee will burn a timeout. Wow. Texas with zero signs of life in this game offensively. They have got something. Dylan DeSue, a three top of the key. Tyrese Hunter, speedy in transition. A couple main layups in this game. Out on the fast break for Hunter. 1.44 left to play. Two-point game. This game really got interesting. This was a bad, bad game. Throughout most of it today in terms of offense. Nobody could buy a bucket. Nobody could make a shot. 36% shooting for Texas. 34% shooting for Tennessee. Texas is 6 for 20 from 3. Tennessee is 3 for 25. 17 turtles by Texas. That's the reason why if they do lose, that is a big reason. 12 turtles by Tennessee. Tennessee has doubled up Texas in points in the paint tonight. 36 to 18 points in the paint in favor of Tennessee. Wild, wild game. 144 left to play. It will be Tennessee ball coming up coming up out, out of the timeout. Dalton connect with 14 on just 5 for 18 shooting. 1 for 8 from 3. Toby Walk has been massive. He has 10 points off the bench for Tennessee. Three players double figures now for Texas. 13 off the bench by Chendall Weaver. He's been great for Texas. 12 by DeSue. Nothing bigger than that last three. And then 10 points by Hunter. Hunter's been outstanding. 5 for 8 today by Tyrese Hunter. Texas has a chance right now to pull off a major upset. Tennessee. History of choking in the tournament. This will be a big one if it happens. They have 8 seniors on their team. They've controlled this entire game. They've led basically 98% of this game. And they held a double digit lead at one point. Back from the timeout. Tennessee has the basketball. Ziegler. Top of the key. Tennessee led as many by 12. Connect. Has it at the edge of the March Madness logo. Minute and a half remaining. Connect. Gets it over to Ziegler. Fires the pass down low. Over to Adu. Huge rejection by DeSue. Here goes Texas with it. 
A. Smith at the edge of the March Madness logo. Going to slow down tempo as we get a player down. Brock Cunningham's down, and we get an injury on the floor as the referee is burn time. Cunningham a little bit slow to get up. Oh, uh, yeah. A. Do sort over Cunningham. And then Dessou came from behind, flying in, and blocked it off the glass. So Cunningham went down hard. The referees blew the whistle in the process of the possession. Minute 20 left to go right now. Brock Cunningham's up. He's okay. So he's moving around currently for Cunningham. What a game. 55-53. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. We're going to take a timeout right now on the floor. 120 remaining. Type in the chat who you've got to win this one. Type it in. Tennessee. Texas. Make sure to put it in it put it in the chat. Unbelievable game here. Ugly, ugly scoring game, but it's only a two point game. Props out for, for Texas. They they were down by like twelve. If you're Tennessee, this is this is just unbelievable. It's gonna be ridiculous for Tennessee if you choke this one. I mean, you got eight seniors on your team. You went eight and two in your last ten games. Number two seed in the bracket for Tennessee. They could have had a one seed if they had beaten Kentucky and won against Mississippi State in the tournament quarterfinals. But they fell back to the two seed. And here they are against the seven seed Texas, which Max Acemas has been well off today. Eight points by Acemas on two free shooting. Tyrese Hunter with 10, 5 for 8 shooting, 12 by Desu on just 4 for 17. And then off the bench, Chandler Weaver's got 13 leading the way. What a game. They were up by 12 as well for Tennessee. Minute 20 remaining. Texas will have the basketball as well. Texas with a chance to tie or take the lead with his possession. The 7 seed looking to pull off a major upset. The 7 seed that was shooting brick after brick after brick tonight. The seven seed, which is minus 18 points in the paint. 36 18 points in the paint in favor of Tennessee. Minute 20 remaining. It will be an inbound coming up here for Texas. Winner of this game will take on a winner of Creighton versus Oregon. Texas receives the inbound in their backcourt. They cross midcourt with Hunter. Hunter been a player of the game recently. Desu receives at top of the free throw circle. Desu it dribbles up, drives, backs his way. Desu underneath. Over Jordan James. No good. Put back chance. Off the rim is fired. Who's got it? Ripped away. It's a tie up on the floor. Possession arrow goes to Tennessee. Huge rebound right there by Josiah Jordan James. And he ties up Dylan Dasu and Tennessee's going to get it. Dasu could not finish at the rim. You got to finish, man. Finish and you better finish strong and you got to finish. Oh, from point blank range. Finish. And he didn't. 105 left. Tennessee with a possession. Big miss there by Desu. Tennessee crosses midcourt at the right wing. Vescovy sends it on top over to Adu. Now into the hands here of Ziegler. Passes over to Vescovy. 50 seconds left to go. Ziegler bounce pass, drops it down. Two hand of try to go in for the dunk. Adu got denied but fouled. Jonas Adu going to shoot two at the free to line. What a brilliant pass right there by Ziegler. Pocket pass off the roller to Adu and Desu picked up the blocking foul. Wow. Two shots coming up by Jonas Adu. Dylan Desu just picked up his fourth. 48 seconds left to go here. Texas has trailed this entire game. Massive free throws by Adu at the line for Tennessee. First one, no good. He missed the free throw. Uh, next Celtic stream, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this upcoming week. I got a lot of stuff to prep, though, for the college things, too. I get the college games on Wednesday and Saturday in person. So I'm not entirely sure just yet, Jeffrey. Second free throw coming up. It's good. By Adu. 
Splits the free throws. Three-point lead here for Tennessee. 48 seconds remaining. Texas with a possession in their backcourt. Cunningham sends it off to A. Smith. A. Smith crosses the midcourt logo with 42 seconds left to go. A. Smith sends it out to the right wing. Hunter. Hunter gives it over to A. Smith. A. Smith dribbles up. Dry slices the feathers. Right to the rim. He scores up and then off the backboard. Max A. Smith with a layup. It's a one-point game. 56-55. 30 seconds left to go. Tennessee slows it down with a possession. Five-second differential between shot clock and game clock to close down this game. 26.3. I think Texas there committed one for a foul. I believe they're going to have to give some. They're not yet in the limit. Yeah, they have just five personal fouls for Texas. They're going to have to give some fouls. So Tennessee can head to the free throw line. Tennessee's picked up eight personal fouls this half. So Texas needs to give some fouls right now. Five second differential shot clock and game clock. 26.3 seconds left to go in the game clock. 21 seconds in the shot clock. Tennessee gets the inbound to Ziegler. Ziegler gets fouled with 25. So they gave the reach in there on the floor. You got to be careful because DeSue has four. So DeSue right now is on the bench. DeSue's got four. 25 seconds. 20 in the shot clock. Clock's a little bit fast. Inbound corner. And another follow they give. So that will put them into the bonus now. So we got 24. So it's 24 seconds. Clock correction by me. Uh, Dwayne on the stream, welcome in. Thanks for joining in, man. If you guys enjoyed the channel, Scott, welcome on board. Make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Uh, so, so sorry right there, free man, Scott. Unfortunate what happened on Thursday, man. And uh, we'll see if Cal's there in the future. Free throws, one and one now for Tennessee in the bonus. First free throw by Adu. Got it. Two point lead for Tennessee. Enjoy the rest of your night, Shirley. So thanks so much for stopping by. Tennessee has got eight falls. Texas now is up to seven. One more shot by Jonas Adu at the free throw line. 24.3 seconds left to go. Second free throw by Adu. Got it. Right down the middle. Three point lead for Rocky Top. Texas has a timeout. Cunningham into the hands here. A. Smith. A. Smith crosses the midcourt logo. A. Smith, 18 seconds left to go. Over to Hunter, crossover at the elbow. Into the hands to A. Smith, right corner, fade away for the tie. Oh, he missed it poorly. Rebound control by Connect. Out of the pack and Dalton Connect's going to go to the free throw line. That is a horrific three right there by Max A. Smith. Over 3,000 points in your career. And you go for a fadeaway three at the right corner. You gotta be kidding me. That is a big ew. Fadeaway three with 10 seconds left to go at the right corner. Contested by Ziegler. And he missed it too strong. As it went over the cylinder. Barely grazed the rim. That is a horrific three by Max A. Smith. God awful shot right there. Timeout on the floor. 8.8 .8 seconds left to go. He started off the game with a 3 from the logo that he bricked. And Max A. Smith ends this game with a horrific right corner. Fade away 3 contested. Come on man. Three years ago in the tournament, you made it all the way to the Sweet 16 at Oral Roberts. And now you transfer over to a Power 5 Big 12 school and choke three years later when you were the top bucket scorer in the nation back in 2021. You went to the NBA Draft Combine three years ago, came back to college to play all these years, you have a chance to tie up the game and you take a shot like that. Connect in the bonus. Makes the first one. All-American drills the free throw. Four-point lead for Tennessee. Dalton connect to put his team up by five. One more free throw by Connect. Automatic. Right down the middle delivers. 60-55 to 55 for Tennessee. Inbound for Texas to Sue. Handoff Hunter. Hunter launches 30-footer. Oh, he hits it. Tyrese Hunter with 3.9 left to go. That's the player of the game for Texas. 
Two-point game. Timeout by Texas. They burn their final timeouts. If Hunter was taking that shot, it would be a different game right now on the first one. Hunter up the floor. He's been lethal in transition today. Good, good shot right there by Hunter. Two-point game. Hunter kept his team right in it all game long. Going to have to foul immediately unless somehow they get a steal for Texas. One timeout remaining for Tennessee. Big shot by Hunter. And they put more time back on the clock. They put 4.2 on the clock. 4.2 seconds right now. Tennessee will get the inbound. If you're Tennessee, you cannot choke this ball away and turn it over. They've turned it over 12 times. Texas, there was 17 turnovers really coming back to bite them. They made seven threes. Tennessee with just three threes. Three for 25 from three. They made five plus threes in every single game this season. 4.2 seconds left to go. Tennessee will get the inbound right here. Ziegler, the inbound passer underneath Texas's hoop. Texas looking to see if they can steal one. Inbound goes to connect, and he immediately gets fouled with three. Three seconds left. Dalton connect back to the free throw line to see if he can put Tennessee on top by four, which would be the ball game. What a game between these two teams. Before you sign off tonight, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell for future live streams as well. I cover basketball action on the channel. On the channel here, play-by-play, -play, college shoots, NBA. Dalton Connect at the free throw line, shooting two shots, 76.3% free throw shooter this season. Connect will shoot in the one and one bonus. one and one bonus here by Connect. 76.3% this season. Tonight, he is 5 for 6. Biggest free throw is of his career right here, right now for the All-American. Connect at the free throw line. That one, and he's got it. He'll shoot a second one here to see if he can give his team the win tonight for Tennessee. Dalton Connect, the All-American. 17 by Connect, the top score of the game. This is it. One to win for Connect. Can Connect do it? Off the rim. Yes, he does. Able to bounce in. He got it. Bounces in for Connect. Texas up the floor. Hunter, three. Comes up short at the buzzer. And it goes final. Pressure free throws by Tennessee. Made by Dalton Connect. As we go final, the two seed able to hold on. Tennessee picks up the victory. 62 to 58 the final score what a game between these two teams tonight in the battle between the two orange schools UT versus UT and in the end you look back at this game you see that corner three with around six minutes left made by Dalton connect off the inbound and that was the difference maker of tonight's game two straight seasons in a row Tennessee will advance over to the sweet 16 Dalton connect big time Closing out this game, just 5 for 18 from the floor, 1 for 8 from 3, but somehow, subway, he finishes 7 for 8 at the free throw line, 18 points by Connect, and they are still in the bracket right now for the Vols. Jonas Adu with 11 major minutes by Toby Awaka. He finished with 10 for Tennessee off the bench, 13 by Jemai Meshack, 9 by Jordan James. Ziegler recorded 7 total assists and 3 steals. Along with six points for him. Texas had three starters and double figures. 13 by Hunter. Tyrese Hunter was great in this game for Texas. 60% shooting as well. They should have gone to Hunter a lot more because Max Aismas was horrific. Three for 10 from the floor by Aismas. Just, uh, just 10 points for him. Desu had 12. 13 by Weaver. Thanks all for joining in. Be the part in this stream. Wow, what a game here. 62-58, Tennessee survives. They'll take on the winner of Creighton versus Oregon in a Sweet 16 next week. Before I do wrap up, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'll be back at it tomorrow, so feel free to join in for the first stream, Colorado versus Marquette. I'm um, also plan on covering Duke against James Madison and then Texas A&M against Houston, so feel free to uh, join in on those streams later tomorrow. We're going to close out to the channel members here. All channel members get a shout out at the end of each and every single one of my live streams. We got two channel members 
right now. A uh, big shout out to Ice Ice Baby gifting over Jack City a channel membership. Tristan, welcome back into the channel membership as uh, he joined during the stream. So here we go. Here's the channel members. We got Jason, Warren, Rajib, I am Ghost, Russell, John, Mark, Kelly, Jeffrey, Vegas, Oink Oink, Michael, Katie, Bradley, Daniel, Derek, Sister Surround, Mario, Greedo, Tristan, who's back on, new as today, once again, SG Sports Talk, Ice Ice Baby, Robin, Melinda, and Jack City, also new as well as of today. Thanks all for joining in, being a part of the stream tonight for this one. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night as Tennessee survives. 62-58, the, the Vols win tonight over the Longhorns. Thanks so much all for joining in and enjoy the rest of your Saturday night.